I need a gamer. Alright, hold on. Let me uh, save my data real fast. Oh, it's Echo. Guys, let me reload my save. There was an Echo the whole time because that's how we do it in Crackdown Town, baby. Alright, let me switch everything. I, have to, I gotta plug everything in. I gotta pause in Napster. Alright, there we go. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Frank's Arcade. What an electrifying start to the greatest stream on the internet. It's Friday, 2.18 p.m. Pacific Time in California. Broadcasting live somewhere on Spaceship Earth. We've got a hot new game today. Crack Down. Three. I almost said Death Wish for the Crackdown. That's a movie from the 80s. Crackdown 3 on Xbox One X, baby. One of the last letters of the alphabet. I think it's Z, but X is pretty close. We're gonna jump in, because that's what we do. Whoa. Hold on. Gosh darn it. Who was on this? There we go. Live gameplay of Crackdown 3. We're back. I had to go to the bathroom. Now, welcome to Crackdown 3. This is on Xbox, not the Switch. We're gonna jump in. Okay, solo campaign. I'm gonna turn on the audio. There we go. Solo campaign. We're doing this solo gamer style. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful sound of Crackdown. All right, solo campaign. Uh, because I am a professional streamer, I put about two hours into this last night, so we're going to skip the tutorial because I know how to play. Vash the Stampede, thank you so much for subscribing to us on Mega64 Podcast on Twitch. Oh, let me get my friend in frame. Okay, uh, this is Crackdown 3 on Xbox, Xbox One X. I'm excited because I played the original Crackdown on 360 when it came out in 2005, 2006, and I was still in high school. So, 15 years later, however many years later, 12 years later, they just decided to make a third one. And let me tell you, it's exactly the same as original Crackdown. All right, I'm jumping in. Boom, someone said they like my new coast, thank you. It's kind of like my, my comfort animal. All right, we're gonna jump into here. That's right, we got Barney from Half-Life. Oh my god, so many people chatting. Welcome, everybody. Uh, there is no Halo beta, unfortunately. You know, I want you guys to see my friend here. The map is such an important part of the game. You know, let's, let's, uh, where should we go? There we go. I'll be in the top left. Looking out. Alright, I think this, you know, I want, I want my stream to look good. So we're gonna, we're gonna decorate everything. We got this going. Alright, this, this feels good. There we go. All right, let's do it. No dabbing, unfortunately, not yet. Uh, so you can play as Terry Crews, who's the main Crackdown man, but uh, there's like f there's a bunch of other agents. Actually, let me see if I can pull that up. I gotta hit the different button. So when you start the game, it's very loud and it yells at you. Oh, you can't switch into different agents. All right, I'll show that off later. Um, let me just show off the gameplay first. But yeah, there's different, you play as Mr. Crackdown, but I decided to play as this chick because she looks cooler. Uh, there's a chick who kind of looks like the Ghost in the Shell Girl, but this was the coolest protagonist at the start. Alright, where do I want to go? Uh, the way Crackdown works is you just shoot everything and blow shit up, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let me go into my map. Great physics. Okay. Um, let's take out the machinery. Alright. No, no fracking. Let's get the, let's, let's shoot the frack out of these people. Alright, I don't care about any of the dialogue in this game. Uh, when I play Crackdown, I listen to podcasts and talk to friends online. This is the ultimate podcast game. Uh, shit. I played a lot of original Crackdown when it came out. Oh, let me... Oh, shit. Guys, I'm, I'm being... There's too many people. Too many hosers out here. 
How's the audio? Should I... No, I think it's good. Okay. Um, I'm overwhelmed immediately. So... Fuck. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Damn it. I'm trying to get a job at uh, Polygon, which is why I'm playing with one hand. Okay. Let me see... I want to get up here. Shit. I just want to get to a good vantage point. You know what? I, at this point, I want to die. I'm not trying to kill anybody. I'm just trying to get to a high point in the level. Oh my god. Alright. I want to restart this. Oh! Let me get up here. My favorite part of this game is just jumping up buildings. So, I don't, you know, I don't want anyone to shoot. I just want to go up and jump. Alright. Let me reset. So, <laughs> alright, take two. Welcome to Crackdown 3. Alright, so uh, these are our access points where you get ammo. This is what I want to show off at the beginning. I think you can change your agent. Yes, okay. Um, lots of questions about the game. I'm about two hours into it. Uh, let's, let's take it from the beginning. So when you start the game, you play as... You can be Terry Crews, or you can switch among six other agents. You can unlock more agents. It's just different avatars, which I appreciate that you can pick a different character. Uh, this chick kind of looks like the Ghost in the Shell just because she has the, the bob haircut. Uh, that's what that reminded me of. There's uh, this guy, 4G, whatever. Uh, Chapman, he's got a cool haircut, almost looks like my hair. We got Rue. Rue, he's French, he's kind of handsome. And then we got De Sousa, who I like. That's my favorite character, I picked her. Uh, there's other people, I don't know who's in the game. It'd be cool if you could add and lock like Robocop, but we'll talk about that later. Um, different guns, every time you pick up a gun, it gets added to your inventory so you can flick through it. Uh, let's see. You can have up to three weapons, which is nice. You have different gadgets. Uh, I unlocked a gadget that lets, lets me jump higher, which is kind of cool. Um, and then you can travel. There's different waypoints. This is the scale of the city. Um, the tutorial starts you on this bottom left, and it looks like it looks like the game wants me to work my way clockwise. I'm assuming you can go anywhere, but that's just the direction I started to run. So that's what I've been doing. All right. Someone says to unlock Chappy, let's get there. I've been playing so much Apex Legends, which I really dig. Um, but let's keep going. Light as a feather, tough as nail. Okay. Let me see. Hold on. Seeing escalated industry groups. All gunfire and grenades coming your way. I, I should pick a sniper rifle, but I'm not. Um, let me see. Okay, so you guys can see my map on the bottom left. The most important thing in this game is collecting orbs. That's all I care about. Um... Yeah, we'll just jump down. Let's see. Boom. Uh, it's much easier to get kills in this game compared to Apex Legends. Absolutely. Hold on. So also my aiming, I think, is like level 1. You get more precise later on. There's some dudes with grenades. Oh, I picked frozen grenades. I should pick something else. Uh, different guns work better. There's like robots in this game that you can shoot. Um, but I've just been running up to people and playing this game mindlessly. Uh, it seems very easy because I'm on just the default agent difficulty. Uh, there's four different modes of difficulty. Welcome, Louiso. Welcome, everyone, in the chat. I was getting my grip on the game before I was looking at the chat. All right. Now we're here. Now we're in a good slow state. So, yeah, this game... Uh, I feel like this game got announced back in 2000. I think it got announced back in like 2014. It was delayed constantly, um, and now it's just out after I don't know how long this was baking, uh, but it's playable and it honestly doesn't feel any different than the original Crackdown. Um, I love the original Crackdown, so that's totally fine by me. If I were to pay sixty dollars for this, I would be disappointed, um, especially after Spider-Man, Breath of the Wild, a bunch of other great open-world games, but. This game comes with Game Pass, so being able to just download this, have it pre-installed and flip on, this is perfect. Boom. Someone says Barney looks high. He needs to stay hydrated. Um, I'll make sure he's drinking some water. But yeah. Um, someone asking if, if they've never played Crackdown 1, is it worth trying this one? If you have an Xbox One, I would say it's worth getting Game Pass. If you have Game Pass, it's absolutely worth trying. Uh, Again, I'm going to be playing this game a lot while listening to podcasts. I mean, I'm even mindlessly streaming this as I'm talking to you guys. Um, so, yeah, it's worth trying. Um, I don't think it's not a system seller. I don't think it's worth... I don't want to even say it's worth paying $60. Now, if this game was 40 bucks, I would probably be happy with it. Because, again, I'm a huge fan of the original Crackdown. But if you've never played Crackdown, um, 
Yeah, I'd say it's worth trying if you have an Xbox One X. Or a regular Xbox One. I need some better weapons. This is, I'm barely hurting this guy. There we go. Shoot. I love the lock on. Oh, I'm doing so poor. Damn it. Alright. I need some better weapons for that uh, giant rocket, dude. Oh! I just like this game because there's an endless amount of just people to shoot. It's just, I don't know. It's, uh, it's very satisfying to play. Oh, I'm doing so bad. There you go. Who's shooting at me? Oh. Uh, it gets your, you get health back when you, uh, when you kill people. I guess then that way it's like Bloodborne. In Bloodborne, we fought. In Bloodborne, when you, uh, damage enemies, you gain health back. Uh, how, uh, let me see. Uh, Hero Pat saying this game, he asking if this game is about a crack epidemic and you're a super cop. Is that not it? Uh, no, that is the plot of Death Wish 4, The Crackdown, and uh, Death Wish 3. But uh, no, the plot of this game is like, I think it's like some corporations taking over the city. It's basically the plot of Robocop 2. Corporations taking over the city and you're fighting your way back to free the city. Also like Half-Life 2. Um, everything is very generic in this game. Uh, but I don't mind. Again, it's... Uh, Jeff Gerstmann described this game as junk food, and that is the perfect way to describe it. It also feels like straight up, straight up like a 360 game. Just like, I don't know, it's very simple, and I like it. Uh, this also reminds me of like what it felt like to play the original Saints Row games, or even Infamous. It feels like a game from last generation, uh, but if you've seen my streams or anything before, I like playing retro games. But, uh, yeah. Best time to be playing games, absolutely. Someone said, Zomner says that you could be playing better games. That's true. Uh, I, I have a pretty healthy diet of gaming. I've been playing Apex Legends, God of War. Um, what else have I been playing? You know, I mix it in. This, this is, if this was my only course, you know, it's just like this. You can't eat ice cream for every meal. You know, I kind of have a... I, that's a good way of looking at it. I kind of have a, a different game for, for every meal of the day. That's how you gotta stay gaming, dude. Forget having three meals a day. You gotta have three games a day. That's, that's my orders. Three games a day. I should publish a book called 3D Games Today. It's genius. Uh, the races are super fun. I haven't played uh, Tetris 99 yet. Brian's been playing Tetris 99. That looks dope. Uh, there we go. I'm doing some damage. I'm starting to dodge. Yeah, dude. Good ass diet. L welcome, Louie M. How are you? How's my audio level, too? Okay, yeah. I'm looking over. It looks, it looks good. I'm starting to, I started to wear headphones while I stream so I could hear the game. Uh, and everything. Hopefully, it all works. Background Gamer Friend. What up, dude? Background Gamer Fan, that's a great name. Alright. Yeah, one game a day. That's that's pretty healthy. Alright. We're going... There we go. Alright, now that I destroyed the giant-ass robot, the rest of this is easy. Ooh, someone's playing Jump Force while listening. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's the new anime game from Namco Bandai. I've never played any of the Jump Force games, uh, so I don't know anything about them. But all your anime friends are there. All the Shonen Jump manga. They put If they put Guts from Berserk into that, I'd, I'd play it. Maybe he is, I don't know. Where the hell... Okay, I just need to focus on this. Oh, see, there's more people up there. Hey, Frank. Oh, hey, Spuzzwick. Oh, Spuzzwick sent over a music video. I watched, like, 30 seconds of it. It reminded me of Syphil... Syphil... Syphil and Ollie. All right, I'm just picking up random weapons. What is this? Boom. Thank you, background gamer friend. They're happy to see me and Barney, always. Lock on to the thinking. Oh, yeah, thank you. Dude, yeah, I was just mindlessly uh, chatting and shooting this. Someone's asking if I'm coming to Boston for PAX. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't planned on it. I love going to PAX East. PAX, PAX East rules. But I don't know yet. When am I going to be locally? Oh, I'm going to be checking out the 5, 6, 7, 8's uh, play of the Cosmo in San Diego on March 3rd. So I will be attending that event. Whatever happened to Celeste? So I think my plan, because that, that's been on my backlog, um, I I might beat Celeste next week, either on my Tuesday stream or, this, or on this stream. Um... I feel like there's just so many games coming out that I'm eager to check out, like Anthem 2. Like, because I, I like covering games as they come out, but I definitely want to clear my backlog. But uh, yeah, I think on some stream I'll beat Celeste. So follow my Twitter to stay tuned. 
Alright, I gotta go with machine pistol. I like this new gun. I'm gonna switch out my, like, battle rifle thing. Alright. Oh, I didn't finish. This thing sucks. I don't know why I picked that gun. Boom. Hell yeah, I killed it. Crowix went to Pack South. That was very fun. If you went to Pack South back in 16 or 17, you might have seen me. Someone says they hate the slime gun. Damn. You know, switching the guns reminds me... This game reminds me of a much better game. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, God, those games are great, especially with all the different guns. Um, but yeah, I like the colors in this game. It's very... It just reminds me of, like, X-Men. It's very, very colorful. I did play Agents of Mayhem, which... Crackdown 3 works. Agents of Mayhem had so many bugs at launch. Uh, but both hit that same itch of just open worlds grinding shit out and having fun. Welcome, Retro Ran. Thank you for popping in. Um, I'm enjoying Crackdown 3. I think it has a caveat, though. You have to, to enjoy Crackdown 3, you have to be nostalgic for the original Crackdown, or just old school open world games in general, like Saints Row. This doesn't feel like a current gen game. Like, it's like. That's why it's kind of ridiculous to play something like this post Spider-Man and post um, Breath of the Wild. Because it's just like, oh, this is old school, but I like old school. So, I dig it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's on. It's absolutely worth signing up for Game Pass to try it. Game Pass, I think it's two bucks for two months, or just ten bucks a month. Like, I pay ten bucks a month. Boom. Get it. Get Game Pass and play Forza Horizon 4. Play uh, this game, Crackdown 3. They also put Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I love Game Pass. I'm not sponsored by Game Pass, but... Please, I'd love to, but I generally love paying 10 bucks a month. It's fucking rad. Okay. All right, so I beat an objective. That took a very long time. I got some hidden agility orbs. Um, but yeah, I'm down to play this as long as I want. And as long as you guys want. Dude, we did the Resident Evil 2 stream a few weeks ago. That was eight hours. That was nuts. Old school's the best school. Sea of Thieves. That would be awesome, Jordan. I would definitely be down to try that. Yeah, I have my Xbox in here. I also have Forza and uh, Skate, so we'll see, but... Uh, Dude, I'm just this is this is uh, scratching a scratching right now. All right, we're just gonna keep going, killing people. You know, I never do beating up. Oh, that that guy has too much armor. Hell yeah! Again, I wish you could just play as Robocop in this. Like if fuck, a ro like why don't they just make a Robocop game? And, and if this was called Robocop, I would love it. But, you know, but I dig it. I'll just pretend I'm Robocop. Oh, shit. I like- look at their outfits! That's so, like, 90s comic book. It reminds me of, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I did play the TMNT Platinum game, and that wasn't that good, but this is good. Look at this! I like it. Feels like a fucking beat-em-up. Background Gamer says that they thought I was very helpful with the PPS. Yeah, I, uh... On the PPS Wednesday, which is on the Megastar Archives channel, I played PP I played uh, Apex Legends with uh, Brian and Garrett and kind of like taught them the ropes. Um, it, that's an interesting stream because at the start we're pretty bad and, and loose, but by the end of it we're coordinating as a team uh, and it's very fun. And then I also streamed PC version of Apex Legends on this stream last week. It's a great game. Okay, well, I need to pay attention to the objectives. What do I gotta do? Setting up these machines. I know, there's a lot of people down there. Oh. Oh, they're down here. What is this? Look at all the slime everywhere. Hell yeah, congrats, Zonra. They got their first Apex Apex win today. That's cool. Oh, a rocket launcher? Now we're talking. Yes. Rockets track their yes. Just lock on and fire. He says it resists, but it's doing so much damage. Right? Like, nothing else is going to do that much damage. This all, uh, again, I dig the damage numbers. I know that's standard in, like, Borderlands. And, uh, I don't know if it was in the original, but damage numbers feel nice. That's why Destiny and Borderlands are so satisfying. And Diablo, like, I love those basic... I just love all the basic, like, action RPG elements in this game. Uh, it's a lot of things I like. You're constantly upgrading your abilities. It's mindless in the best way. Uh, it's like candy. This is a fun game. Um, I'm, I'm liking it. I ran out of my rocket, so I'm gonna switch to this. Ooh, I just got a Chivo, guys. We unlocked a Chivo. One, yeah, holy shit. You can also track your achievements. Again, I'm, I am playing on the Xbox One X, which I like. Um, I might stream Metro 2033 on the Xbox One X in the future. Because I want to get to Exodus, but I gotta work my way up. 
Oh, they put damage numbers in Far Cry? Hell yeah. Um, a Far Cry dev uh, listens to the show and got in touch with me, so I might stream uh, New Dawn in the future, which would be really cool. People are saying I'm dropping frames. Oh, okay, thanks for the heads up. Hopefully it's uh, still listenable. All right, I've been distracted. We gotta go up there. Thanks for the update. Oh, welcome, Audrey. Thanks for popping in. Audrey in the chat, uh, she'll also be on stream in a few weeks. Guys, I like streaming, it's fun. It's fun hanging out and chatting with everyone. I went for a morning walk this morning, that felt good. Uh, someone, I think, commented saying, uh, no, I think it was Spuzzwick says they're listening right now while going for a walk. That makes me so happy. Um, I use exercise as a way to like stay on top of my mental health. Um, like, I don't, I, I love it. And so I, I woke up kind of tired and like a, not an off mood, just exhausted. Uh, and then I went for like a walk, uh, listened to music and podcasts. Oh, I'm in a good mood today because I started with exercise. I love it. What do you see on my walk? I saw some dogs, dude. Uh, saw a guy jogging. Um, I saw a cop car. What else did I see? Beautiful palm trees. Uh, one of my favorite comic artists, Sean Phillips, he goes for a walk every morning and he's like in the UK. Uh, and uh, he posted on Instagram. And uh, I get it, all my favorite writers, they like always go for walks. And I don't know, it's uh, it's very recharging. Um, I also saw the movie Arctic last night with Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, I liked it. It wasn't as great as something as like Castaway or uh, All Is Lost, that Robert Redford movie where he's surviving on a sailboat. Um, it wasn't as like nihilistic as I'd want it to be. I love my media to be nihilistic and hopeless. Uh, but uh, I liked it. Um, but it, it kind of made me reflect this morning like, uh, in the film, it's about Mad Nicholson like trying to survive, uh, which is much different than just trying to live. And uh, you know, I was thinking like if Mads Mikkelsen has to get up in the morning and fucking act in uh, Antarctica or even in the film, try to survive, it's like oh, I, I can just go for a walk, and that that made me feel good. Looking at someone else's suffering made me feel realize like, <laughs> okay, going for a walk isn't that bad. All right, I, I'm I haven't again. This is how I treat Crackdown. I, my mind wanders. Okay, I guess that's a good thing if you're streaming, or maybe it's a bad thing. It depends what you're into. All right. Okay, gonna hack, dude. Put my hacking glasses. Boom. Yeah, background gamer friend asked if I like that video of Harmony Crew and Gaspar No hanging out. Yeah, I saw that years ago, uh, and I dug it, and I just started a new vlog where I just go for a walk, and I'm gonna be hanging out with friends. Uh, that's pretty much the vibe of it. So yeah, I, I love documentaries, I love interviews. That's why I like streaming, podcasting, etc. That's why I love people in the chat. It just feels like every week I get to hang out and interview you guys, and vice versa. But yeah, I dig it. I finally got to see the, see the trailer for the Beach Bum. What am I supposed to do here? Hack it? No, destroy it. Um, I saw a trailer for the Beach Bum, which I really dug. Uh, that's coming out in March. Uh, there's a trailer for another film about. It's very. It feels very Aaron Sorkin. It's about these tech nerds building like a an, an, an internet line like across America, so they can have faster access to the stock market. Uh, I got, that was a Sundance film that comes out in March. That looks really good. Um, yeah. Oh Jesus. Yeah, dude, Harmony's filmmaking is, like, the punkest thing there is. Because uh, Harmony Korean approaches filmmaking as making skate videos. Like, just loose shit, like, unscripted usually. Just, uh, cinema verite. That's why I really like Harmony Korean. The one tough thing with streaming is uh, when I glance over the chat, it shows, like, the most recent messages. Oh my god, my Xbox One X was choking. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um... But uh, yeah, if I missed a question, feel free to re-ask it, because I missed it. Boom. Where the hell? Oh, I missed it. Am I supposed to just hack this? Oh. Oops. Hell yeah. Did we beat it? Do I connect more with Spike Jones or Harmony Korine? Uh, definitely Harmony Korine. I think ultimately Spike Jones is, uh, it's it's weird to say better because I do love Harmony Korine more, but Spike Jones ultimately has way more commercial appear, appeal. Like he kicks ass, like like I think ultimately Spike Jones makes better films than Harmony Korine. Like, uh, but uh, yeah, Spike Spike Jones makes incredible work, but Harmony Korine's as like rough, are just like off as the shit is. I connect to it more, but uh, Spike Jones is. Uh, I think I think his harmony is more of a weirdo than Spike Jones, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, with Spike Jones, uh, being John Malkovich is like 
phenomenal. Like, her is great, and, and like everything he does, all in the adaptation, but, uh, Spring Breakers is, like, my absolute favorite. Yeah, Spike Jones used to skate. He, Spike Jones helped found Vice. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they grew, like, they both came from that same culture of making cool videos. Alright. Dr. Ryan's here. Perfect. Dr. Ryan, would you want to sit in and chat? Okay, let me, let me take a look. Where is it? Hold on, let's see. Oh, wait. Dr. Ryan, if you're on uh, Discord, feel free to hit me up. Message me. We have Dr. Ryan in the studio. Last week we had Mega Moika and uh, Cheap Ass Gamer on the phone, which is cool. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? And I'm so oblivious. Oh, it's right here. No. I see the thumbs up thing here. Where the oh, there's the, there's the icons. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. There you go. It's my first, I think it's my first time doing this type of mission. I was reading one of the complaints of this game is all the missions are the same. Like, there's like a, a handful of types of missions and everything repeats. So, I feel like once I've done it once, then the rest of it will be easy. Uh, but from now, I don't mind getting lost. Shoot orange things. Good, good advice. Good advice. Um, I don't know if I've seen... I don't know. Someone asked about Alex... Oh, wait. Un fuck. The chat messed up. Someone was asking about the films of Andres Zulowski. Give me a second. Terranova's officially marked you as a threat agent. That's what, what happens mean? when you attack their assets. The more damage you cause... Oh, I've seen Possession. Possession's wild. We'll track the current threat level on your I have to reshoot. I have to refresh my chat. We'll Alright. It's a threat meter. Oh no. I saved the day and now the cops are after me. Well, that's how it is in corporate America. Company assets are closing in. Frank, check Discord. Oh, Dr. Ryan is on the line. Hold on. Where is this? Scanners recalibrate. Alright, we're gonna have we're gonna have Dr. Ryan coming in. Give me a sec. I'm gonna call Dr. Ryan. Give me a second. How the F do I call Dr. Ryan? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, give me a second, guys. I'm going to have Dr. Ryan call in. Give me a sec. All right, I'm calling Dr. Ryan. Let's see how this goes. We'll have Dr. Ryan in the house in a moment. I'm excited. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna resume the crackdown in the meantime. Devil. Oh, I need to see that. Is there a doctor in the house? That's a good segment. All right, Ryan is here. Let me tweak my mic. Hold on, Ryan. All right, output. Give me a second. Hello? Yeah, hey, Ryan, can you hear me? Hello. Oh yeah, sorry. Frank, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear Ryan, but I can't. It's not picking up in input. Hold on. Oh no. One sec. Frank. Yeah, hold on. Dark. Oh. Yo, what up, dude? Can you hear me now? Oh. Oh, hold on. This is excellent, excellent call. Hold on. I have to tell Dr. Ryan. Uh, Dis Yo, Discord hello. isn't getting my audio Am I coming input. in loud and clear? Ryan is coming road. in clear. Oh, Ryan's driving. This is illegal. All right, hello, test. All right, one sec. Oh, damn, it totally worked last week, too. All right, Ryan can hear that, probably. There we go. Hey, oh, oh. hey what's up, man? Good. Good to hear from you. I'm, I'm, I'm switching my input again one more time, see if this works. Hello, hello? No? Okay, fuck it. Okay, I got it to work. Thanks for your patience. Welcome, Dr. Ryan. Hello, thank you for having me here on Frank's Arcade, wow. the number one show on Twitch. All right, we had about five minutes of technical difficulties. Now we are resuming. How's it going? It's good. I'm currently driving across the state of Oregon, so I thought I'd call in and say hello. Wow. Is that legal to use your cell phone while driving in Oregon? Well, thankfully, I have AirPods, so I'm on oh. a wireless connection, and that's... Okay. Everything's legal. All right, Everything cool. is legal. All right, Ryan, that took about four minutes of dead air as I was setting up. Uh, you're going to have to make up for it. You're going to have to stay on the line for at least four minutes to make up for it. So, Dr. Ryan, my favorite question to ask yes. people is, what have you been playing? I've been playing the fuck out of Resident Evil 2. Oh, yeah. So you're going for the Platinum Trophy, right? 
Uh, yes, I'm I'm one trophy away. I am one hardcore run with Claire away from being completed with Resident Evil 2. I tried to do it last night, but I just got a little too tired. So uh, when I get home this weekend, I'm definitely going to plat that. I'm going to play the DLC, and that's going to be platinum number 159 for me. Damn, what's been the hardest trophy to get in Resident Evil 2? The hardest trophy to get was probably... Uh, Hmm. I, it was either a small carbon footprint, which was to beat the game without with uh, taking under 14,000 steps, which I thought was going to be really hard. I really had to like not uh, go for some of the extra weapons or the extra yeah. attacks. Did you use a guide for that, or, or did you use a guide for that, or just feel your own way out? No, I the uh, I did it by myself. The only guide I've used was for some of the collectibles, mostly the notes. Uh, other than that, I've been playing this whole game without looking anything up, without because uh, I played it for the first time last Saturday. I streamed it actually, just like you did. Yeah. And I did a blind playthrough, and I didn't, you know, didn't look anything up, and I just played through it myself, and I really, really liked it. But uh, I'd have to say it was either that or going through an entire run without using the item box. Oh Jesus! How long was your clear time on that? Uh, on that one, uh, not too bad. It was only yeah. like maybe three and a half hours. So my first run took about eight hours. But after that, uh, I've been consistently getting about three and a half hours on each run. My fastest run so far was my uh, S rank of Claire B. And I did it in, I want to say, two hours and 20 something minutes. Excellent. Yeah. Very but cool. That game... That game was really good. I'm looking forward to putting that one in the books and moving on to the new DLC that just came out today. Okay. Uh, what uh, what games are you gonna be playing after Resident Evil 2? So there's a lot. There's Far Cry New Dawn, which I might I might get eventually because I'm gonna I want to stream that. Uh, I still gotta beat God of War. But what what are you gonna play? You gonna play Anthem? You gonna play Metro? What, what's on? What's what's next for the Doctor? So the next thing is actually Far Cry New Dawn because Far Cry 5 was one of my favorite games the last. Okay. Week. All right. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the other games that I've got. Uh, like bot that I'm looking to play is I find a new collection because I've never played Shenmue. Oh, I, I've never played that either. I, I like fucked around with it as a kid on Dreamcast, but I sucked, so I, was, I never beat it. Uh, that's gonna be cool. I've always wanted to play that. And then I found a cheap copy of uh, Crayola Scoot Dude. on eBay. Oh Jesus! So Damn. I I bought that for ten dollars, and I'm I'm looking forward to playing that. All right, that that'll be uh, fun to check. That'd be a good game for you to stream because I, I like. That game is so weird. Just the fact that it exists. Uh, I didn't stick with it too long, but uh, I'm happy it exists for how weirdly specific that is. It's, you know, it's Splatoon Tony kind of Hawk. A, I was in a mood to play like a Tony Hawk game, and yeah. then it, it, it was 10 bucks, and it looks dumb, and I thought yeah. it would be fun to play. Boom, yeah. Well, we, there you go, Ryan. You said it all. If it's fun to play, it's worth playing. That was awesome. There you go. Uh, real fast, let's talk some gamer specifics. Uh, did you play original okay. Crackdown? I did play the original Crackdown back on the Xbox uh, 360, uh, and it was one of the first games that really got me into achievements. I never got all of the achievements in it because uh, I just kind of got tired of finding all the orbs. Yeah. And I, I didn't like the racing too much. I found oh. the, race, the racing controls to be a little yeah. flimsy, but the rest of the game, I really, really, really love. See, see this, is, like this is great, uh, because Crackdown 3 is the exact same game as Crackdown 1. They haven't, like, changed the formula at all. Like, this feels like I'm playing a retro game. So it sounds like you're describing what's on screen. So you're just, you keep going. So I really like Crackdown because, for me, it was like a podcast game. Uh, like, it is such mindless fun. Uh, but yeah, what, like, uh, I mean, like, I forget, you don't, do you, you, do you listen to podcasts while playing games? Do you, you, you sit on Discord? How do you consume mindless games also when you're going for, like, platinum trophies? So, uh, the, I will sometimes listen to, actually, now, I used to listen to podcasts, but now I kind of save podcasts for when I have to drive. That's right, you what do a shitload do, of driving, yeah. I, I do. And so, my favorite thing to do is to uh, catch up on giant bomb videos yeah. or youtube or talk on discord because uh, i have i have a uh, over black friday i got one of those really nice like 300 hundred dollar like 4k tvs and i've got it set up my old tv set up so i just watch things on one tv oh my god while i play video games that, on the other that's TV. how i used to grind shit in world of warcraft i used to have like yeah. i was i had like netflix streaming as soon as it came out i used to download stuff i used to listen to podcasts while i played world of warcraft 
So that you have like the same setup. Is that is that how yeah. you're able to watch some, uh, a bunch of uh, shitty VHS movies? Like, were you also doing plats and watching movies at the same time? Oh, one hundred percent. Last year, when I was doing my three hundred and sixty-five days of movies, most of those were watched while also platinum in games. All right, got, there you go, multitasking. I, I like it. I watched three hundred sixty-five new movies last year, and I also got seventy-two new plats last Damn, year. Damn, look at that, Ryan grinding it out. I mean, the first thing you grinded out was your uh, was your doctorate, which took that was eight years of grinding. That's like the ultimate platinum achievement. Uh, that, like, yeah, there was yeah. a lot of grinding in that. A lot one. of grinding. So I think now that you're living in paradise, watching VHS films and getting plats on on trophy uh, on video games, that you're living the dream. That that's incredible. Thank you so much, Frank. I feel like I, I'm living my best. Absolutely, life. absolutely. All right. Well, that that was awesome, Ryan. Thank you so much. I think I'm gonna take some calls from from other people, but uh, yeah, feel free to uh, whenever you arrive at your destination, you know, pop in the chat, say hello. But, uh, yeah, I'd be down to have, have you on more often. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you so much for having me. Boom. Have a great stream. All right, Ryan is uh, getting tethered away. Thank you so much. People, if you want to uh, if you want to chat, wait, it's the podcast Discord. Let me get the PPS Discord going. I'm going to take calls through the PPS Discord. How do I do the PPS Discord? Is Jordan Jones here? There you go. Pop into the PPS Discord uh, and then go into the waiting room. I'm going to be on air if you want to call. Um, pop into the waiting room and I'll take some callers. This was sudden, but you know, if you need some time to get ready, um, my mic input is like weird on Discord. It's not reading right, so you'll be the audio will be a little a little worse. But that, don't worry, we'll, I'll hear you nice and clear. All right, Zomner, quick on the draw. We got Zomner on air. How do I, how do I people? There you go. Hi, Zomner. Welcome to Frank's Arcade. I just accidentally closed something on my streaming thing. Give me a second. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. I'm a bit sleepy. It's uh, 1 a.m. here. No, that's uh, great. Where are you? I'm doing uh, in Finland. Hi. Finland, that's incredible. That's right. We've chatted with you before. Fin, dude. All right. Yeah, yeah. Number one question: What what games are you playing right now? Um, at the moment, um, nothing. But I played earlier today. I played Apex Legends. Oh, Apex um, Escape Legends. How how are you digging that? Um, yeah, doing good. Won my first game with my friends. Uh, they've been yeah. showing me how, how to play it, and uh, it's been uh, great. Are you playing on PS4 or PC? PC. Um, Hell I don't yeah. have any consoles. There you go. That's awesome. All right, so you're a PC gamer. That's good. Uh, other than Apex Legends, what are you? What are you playing? Or what are you? What, yeah. What have you? What uh? What have you been playing? Or what are you looking forward to? Um, I don't play uh, too many video games uh, oh, okay. like any uh, often anymore. But like I bought today earlier, uh, I saw a deal on um, on Reddit about like um, Metal Gear Solid Five, uh, the Phantom Pain Definitive uh, Edition. Yeah, have you ever played that? No, I haven't oh. played it, but I've watched my friends play that. I I and I've been spoiled by the plot and everything. But yeah. I, was, I was like. It was a really good deal because you had the whole um, Phantom Pain and also you got the Ground Zeroes, you know, like ridiculously like cheap price. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get that now. That's so, great. That's yeah, that's a, that's a very good game. Definitely worth playing. Awesome. Uh, I kind of jumped and asked you a question. Did you have a question or something you wanted to chat about? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I asked you a question earlier. I don't know if you've done it, but uh, may I recommend you uh, like a film to oh, watch? Oh, please, that's that's my favorite subject. Okay, um, so I, I, yesterday I went to watch a film with a couple of friends yeah. called uh, The Name of the Game. Ooh, The Name um, of the Game, what's know. that? It's a documentary. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's ever ever been if if it's ever gonna be in a, a greater. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it. Don't worry. Okay. But but it's a uh, it's a documentary about like this uh, Finnish uh, game house called House Housemark. They have, they made lots of games in the uh, mid two thousands for for Sony PlayStation. Oh, what games? Uh, three and, uh, um, um, Dead uh, Dead Nation was one. And, oh, the uh, like twin stick shooters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, lots of twin stick okay. shooter games, and it was w about the like the biggest project they started like uh, developing this uh, retro shooter game with uh, famous uh, arcade uh, machine. I, I cannot remember the uh, e Eugene Jarvis was the. Oh, Jar dude. Like, okay, uh, Eugene. Wait, is Eugene Jarvis in this documentary? Yeah. Oh, okay. Eugene Jarvis, you, you watched the documentary, so you probably know. I'm sold. Yeah. Eugene Jarvis made Smash TV, but he also made, uh, what's, what's, he made NARC, which is like one of my favorite games of all time. 
Oh my oh, god. Uh, that's incredible. Alright, I didn't know there was a Eugene Jarvis documentary out. It's called The Name of the Games? Oh. Um, it's not well, it's uh, half about like yeah, uh, yeah. Jarvis. It's ba basically about the studio and they're trying to make a game. It's basically like showing you like... Kind of like the insights of uh, what what is it ma making for a struggling like game company trying oh, okay. to keep itself up, and it's like it's a, it's an okay like if you if you want to see in the industry like for like not so not so in the triple uh, uh, A game uh, like studio to make a trying Hell to yeah. stay in your position. So it's like I really enjoy no, it. No, that, and... that's always uh, fascinating. Have you ever seen any of uh, Daniel Dwyer's no clip documentaries? No, that, that doesn't ring a bell at all. Okay, yeah. So my my friend Daniel Dwyer, uh, he has a he has a YouTube channel called No Clip Video, and he does basically that. He goes around and he makes documentaries uh, internationally uh, with video game studios. He covered like the Doom twenty sixteen reboot, Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, he interviewed like the dude who created Spelunky, The Witness. Like he interviewed like he creates incredible documentaries. I think he did a uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn people, which are they Finnish Finland? What? Where's Horizon Zero Dawn? Um, they might be Sweden. Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I think Amsterdam. that's... Yeah, that might be some other European. Okay. okay. Uh, he also did The Witcher People, who are Polish. But yeah, he does international gaming documentaries. His shit's incredible. It's free on YouTube. But uh, yeah, oh, check, yeah, check that out. I've heard about this guy. Yeah, yeah, I've heard a bit about yeah. this guy. Yeah, I never watched any of this stuff. But yeah, now I need to watch this stuff. All right. Very cool. Well, check that out. Thank you so much for your call. The name of the game. Hey, no that was awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Zomner. Take care. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Boom. All right, feel free to pop into the waiting room on the PPS Discord if you want to chat. Um, someone suggested the background gamer friend said I should take a break and eat. All right, good good idea. Let's see what we got. So typically when it comes to food, I packed some snacks and fruit. I will try to eat the fruit first uh, before it goes bad, and because that's always the healthier option for me compared to like Cheez-Its, which I love. So I'm going to eat the banana first. If you've seen the stream, you know I go for the banana. All right. Boom! All right, background gamer fan wants to chat about mental health. Yeah, pop in the Discord, dude. Let's do it. The doctor is in. Is that what uh, the penis girl says? Eat in one bite? No, dangerous perp. That would be dangerous. That's dangerous. Oh, that's really good. Who suggested I eat, gamer friend? Thank you. This is for you. I'm trying to have her aim the gun at, gun at me. Oh no, don't kill Barney. No, don't do it. Oh! Uh oh. No! I'm being shot at. Content he says play multiplayer. That that's a good idea. I will do that in the future. Later in the stream, I mean. I gotta finish the banana. Try to fight Barney. We got people in the chat. I'm gonna finish the banana and I'll grab somebody. Oh, I need a water bottle, too. The game's chastising me for wasting a second? Uh-uh. Alright. We're gonna take 801 Evil. I like that. 801 Evil. How's it going? Welcome. <laughs> hey, how are you, Frank? Um, I just wanted to call in and tell you um, I'm enjoying the stream. And I oh, had a... honor. Thank you. So, how are you? Are you, are you um, taking uh, taking that break? I'm, I'm not watching. I right did. Now. I ate a banana. Are you background gamer friend or just another another person? Oh yes, that's me. That's dude. Me. I, I ate, ate a banana. It was excellent. Thank you. Thank okay. you for the suggestion. I wanted to call and ask about specifically professionalism. Okay. So you're very professional. Uh um, no, I kind of wing it, but uh, I think it's oh, all about okay. confidence. Yeah. Okay, confidence. All right. I mean, I, I was just calling to ask you. I, I've always had a little bit of trouble with professionalism. Yeah, sure, as sure. As far as because I, I seek out um. 
as uh, you know, I was I wanted to call and talk about mental health. So yeah, 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 absolutely. I kind of seek out. Um, what do I what do I seek out? Uh, so how, well, how, well, first off, how are you enjoying the game? Uh, the game is I like it. You know, I would give it like a, I never do scales or but you know, like three out of five. Like I like it. It's uh it didn't surprise me. It's not. Ah, uh, it's a little pinch worse than I expected. But uh, it feels exactly like Crackdown 1. Uh, I went in with very low expectations, and it, and it met those low expectations. So it's like, oh yeah, this is Crackdown. I'm enjoying it for uh, essentially free, because it's on Game Pass. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm probably going to play more of it this weekend while I catch up on some podcasts. Uh, so yeah, I like it. Um, it's not a game I'd recommend anyone pay full price for, uh, but I'd say it's absolutely worth getting Xbox Game Pass to try it out. Someone says the camera is gone. Oh yeah, the camera's, my camera's been in the center of the screen. You're good, you can keep going. But yeah. Uh, that's how I'm enjoying the game. Yeah, specifically about mental health. Yes. Um, so I was I was going I was out today. You know, you said you recommend going out for walks. You know, I think it's good that people see you for, and, and you know, judge you, and you know, you have that sort of visceral experience. You know, I think that's what you were going for. You know, with the big dogs, um, the the big dogs um, uh, vlog. Sure. That I saw. It was, that one was awesome, dude. I I like seeing Brian and stuff. So yeah, Brian's Brian's good, dude. Yeah, that was awesome. So you know, I was out and I mean, I heard these kids. You know, they were look they looked just like me and they were stealing stuff. And I was there doing kind of like you know, I was buying stuff to pawn. So it was it was like you know terrible, but. I was going to ask you, what do you think about, you know, these punk kids and, you know, people who are punks and just, you know, seek out this stuff, you know? Uh, I dig yeah, punkers. I think punk is about expressing yourself and being true to yourself. And so, you know, I think the best thing to do is just talk with people. So, you yeah, know, I, there you go. I, I mean, I definitely, I definitely love watching you. So, um, thanks you for taking my call, man. All right. Thank you so much hey, for coming you. in. All right. I, hey, I guess the, the rule is punk is cool. All right, thank you so much. Eight oh one evil, peace. All right, that was uh, eight oh one evil. All right, hey, what's up? I'm gonna drag us over here. All right, next question. Welcome. Yo, yo, what's up? Welcome, Nick Prol. Where are you from? Hey, you know my name. Okay, I'm from Tucson. Tucson, Arizona, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Man. Very cool. Welcome. So uh, you're cracking down, I see. Yeah. Someone in the chat also right said, real fast, someone that said the last caller was a bit, bit or not, I was just talking to the person. Like, uh, if there was more questions, I would have kept going, but they didn't have anything more. If 801 even wants to come back. I, I didn't take it as yeah, a bit. I, I don't I, know. I, I, yeah. I didn't know if it was a bit or not, but I was just treating it sincerely. Uh, if you want to, again, talk about anything, come in, let's let's call, but kind of know what you want to talk about. Uh, but yeah, but uh, welcome, Nick Prohl, Tucson, Arizona. What's the weather like? But yeah, thank you, background gamer uh, friends. It's okay right now. It's usually horrible but right now it's okay yeah because uh arizona gets hot as hell anyways uh yeah what's uh what's the topic what's your question well yeah i actually was gonna call in to just talk about the weather i have a, something prepared here all right um, let's do it nah i'm just kidding um uh let's see what did i want to talk about i guess just film uh the last thing you saw was arctic right yeah i saw it last night and it was okay yeah, uh, and, and I think the reason too, like I, I, I've seen so many movies, so I've seen so, and I love survival films, so I've just I've seen it all before. So it's just like, sure. okay, yeah, all right, that was another one of those. It didn't surprise me, but it wasn't bad. Like it was good visual storytelling. Mads Mikkelsen's always great, but it's like when you have the Revenant, it's like how are you gonna match? You can't like match that, you know? Like uh, so, course, yeah. and, and I think it's kind of unfair to put in the same category as the Revenant. Uh, oh, I'm getting destroyed here. So yeah, it just it was like, all right, that was that. Um, I was hoping it'd be something, again, I, like, I'm not disappointed because, like, I, you know, it was just, all right, it, it is what it is, but it's like, I've had experiences with survival films, like, when you think of, like, Gravity, uh, Dunkirk, it's like, holy shit, that's a ride, you know, I, it would have been nice if the film sure. really surprised me, it took me on, uh, but then again, I mentioned All Is Lost, the Robert Redford film, which I thought was really cool, and that was something that grew on me, like, I watched it, and I was like, oh, that was okay, but I, 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 I like that even more, um, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those films. Uh, but if you haven't seen All Is Lost, uh, then you'd probably enjoy this too. Uh, again, I, I liked it. It just didn't it just didn't blow me away. Yeah, pretty much I'm any movie where Mads Mikkelsen has an eye patch, like it's kind of high high standards going or high expectations. Yeah, going, yeah, but... yeah. Mads, Mads gets messed up in the films. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man. 
Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what I saw last to recommend you. Uh, I saw something called Tyrannosaur. Have you seen this? No, I have not seen Tyrannosaur. It's kind of a, it's a little British film about this, uh, kind of like, not skinhead, but what do you call those British guys that like just go to pubs all the time and get in brawls? Blokes? Hooligans? No, yeah, hooligans. Yeah, hooligans. Oh, and then there's soccer yeah. hooligans, which is like specifically people who follow soccer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like an older hooligan mm -hmm. who basically just completely self-destructive and like mm -hmm. life sucks and then... He meets this woman who runs like a charity shop and it, you think at first it's going to be one of those like, oh, she's going to save him or whatever, but it's kind of like not what you expect. And so that was pretty good. All right. Tyrannosaurus? Uh, uh, Tyrannosaur. Yeah. All Speaking right. of nihilistic, that was very nihilistic. Okay. Yeah. I expected like a feel good ending, but I was left uh, reaching for the news. No, noose. see, I always <laughs> expect a miserable ending. Like that's what I want out of movies. Like I, that's why. Yeah, uh, yeah, I... Did you see First Reformed? Oh, that was my movie of the year. Yeah, year. like, like that, that wasn't a film I loved, but it was like, oh, that was a Paul Schrader movie. Like, yeah, it's like that, yeah. that, that the creeping nihilism. Uh, that's the shit I love for. And that's why specifically like A24 movies, like they have different, oh, yeah. different, like, you know, like eighth grade's not like a 70s film, but like Hereditary, First Reforms, those are very yeah. like 70s nihilistic filmmaking, which I, I'm always a huge fan of. Totally. On the topic of uh, First Reformed, what I loved is just how unpredictable it was. I went yes, and, 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 I don't even, and also, I don't even want to talk too much about it. But yeah, no, you, you're, you're on the same anything. page. We're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but, yeah. but another thing I loved is just how um, it dealt with political topics, but it was it didn't take a side. And if it did, you, you were always guessing which side it was on. Well, and I it, feel like that's yeah. so rare. And that's like even Taxi Driver. It's like, exactly. it's just like, uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's again, pre-Death Wish, but like, yeah, he, he vigilantes, he murders, but at the same time he saves this girl. And it's like, at the same time, it's like he was a veteran. Like, like it, it just deals with like, again, that's what 70s filmmaking is. There's no clear answers. It's yeah. incredible. Like, I, I yeah. like the gray areas. Exactly. And that's, and that's what makes great media successful. Like, like one of those successful examples that's like Breaking Bad, you know, like, it's people can endlessly you, yeah. chat about like I think that's the kind of best uh, the best kind of media. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Tyrannosaur was interesting. I recommended in the chat uh, Devil by his. Yeah. Wanna, you want to pop out and hang out? Yeah. I yeah. Just, I've never seen any of this. All right, Nick. Thanks for chatting. We're gonna switch no over worries. to uh, in studio, but yeah, we'll be taking more calls in a bit. Thanks so much, Nick. Oh, before I go, yes. uh, congrats on uh, Flamewar Theater and oh, all the you. big dog stuff. I'm thank loving you. it. All and right. Hello, Rocco. All See right, you kisses. guys. All right, we're gonna switch over. I was taking some Discord calls. I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna take out my headphone. Let me see. Boop. Pipe that audio in. All right, give me a second. All right. Let me switch over to make the game audio louder. Welcome. We got Rocco, our next caller, in the studio. Welcome. This is Crackdown Three. This is. All right, check this out. All right. So this is Crackdown Three on the Xbox One X. Uh, it is. So, did you ever play the original Crackdown? Uh, yes, a little. Yeah, not, okay, I'm getting destroyed. Time. I'm getting destroyed. Shit. Um, fuck. Hold on, I got no ammo. Jesus. But uh, yeah, this is Crackdown three. I, I've been saying all day that like, uh, yeah, it, it feels like uh, it's, it's exactly Crackdown one like 15 years ago. Uh, yeah. it's uh, not better, not worse. It's just it's. Crackdown 1. Uh, it makes me feel nostalgic for like 360 era open world games. Yeah. Uh, I don't, if you've never played Crackdown, I can't be like, oh yeah, play this, you'll love it. It's like, I think you have to be nostalgic for like that generation yeah. of open world games. Who, who developed this one? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. I think, yeah, the, I don't Because the first one was Real Time Worlds and we yeah. worked with them on stuff that oh, never Oh yeah, they later, they, later, they later did a, uh, forget what the hell. APB. APB, yeah. But, uh, I don't know who's doing this new one. Yeah. I think they're called Sumo Digital, whatever. Oh, Sumo Digital. Yeah. But also, it's like, I don't know, the, the, this game has been in development and scrapped and delayed so many times that it's yeah. like, I wonder what happened. Yeah, what did happen? It doesn't seem like this should have been that hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think because it got delayed so much, like, if this game came out in 2014 when they announced it, people yeah. would be like, oh, that was great. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, but now, again, post Spider Man, post Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Releasing an open world game that's like very simple is just like oh it's a could be off putting to some but this is exactly what I expected. Yeah. But even like Sunset Overdrive has, has so much more character than this. But uh, I like this as a mindless podcast game, so this this is <laughs> is fine for me. Okay. Let's see. Um, jump in. Okay. 
So yeah, this it's uh there's not like story missions. It's just uh on the map there's a bunch of things that you can like engage with. Uh you know, you basically each objective is go to an area, destroy villains and like hack something or blow something up and then just yeah. move on to the next area. Very simple. Uh and that's exactly what how Crockdown One operated. Yeah. Uh, and so I guess I appreciate that they didn't tack on like story stuff because that would have been weird. They just very faithful to the original. Uh, but yeah, I just don't know if the, if there's like a market for this. Um, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I don't know. But this is definitely like the momentum was hurt <laughs> for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever? Do you ever? Oh, I'm shit. trying to think of other games where actually they got delayed to the point that it actually like hurt the reception. You know what I mean? Um, like I, I, like you know, a good game I, is yeah. delayed, or uh, you know, yeah, some games are yeah. delayed until they're made right. You know, Ocarina of Time. I remember as a kid, they delayed that for years, oh, and yeah. it was like, oh my god, what the hell? And then when it came out, it was like, all right, well, here, here's this game-changing game, you know? Uh, uh, people in the chat said Dude Nukem Forever. Ex yeah, if that yeah. came out in the late 90s, oh, fuck yeah. But yeah. that came out, like... <laughs> yeah, that, that came out in such the worst climate for, like, uh, people didn't want their antagonist, their protagonists to make dick-sucking jokes. You yeah, know? <laughs> it just... Yeah, that didn't pan out. Uh, you know, I honestly... This might, might sound a little weird, but I've always felt that way about Smash Brothers Brawl. On, oh, that was yeah, on the Wii, yeah. is that got delayed so many times after the 2006 launch of the Wii that it was getting like frustrating, but it's like, hey, it's Nintendo, let yeah. them delay it, who cares? And then I remember they delayed it one more time into 2008, and I remember that feeling like, okay, I, 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 don't, I don't have more energy for this. You know what I mean? Like, I, And then when it came out, it was kind of, I, I feel like people were a little more critical because they got kind of dragged with it um and uh you know last guardian was kind of weird i mean honestly oh, yeah. i was really stoked it just came out because in my mind it was canceled You're welcome to the roll up let me scoot my friend out of the way yeah no i, I mean oh yeah yeah, yeah whoa, 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 whoa. my oh, headphones have plugged got so many wires let me uh -huh. let me scoot my friend out of the way roll up get some crystal clear audio people want to see your bags there we uh, go sip up to the mic all right but yeah, it, uh, you know, so Last Guardian maybe falls into this territory of like what happened, but uh, but I feel like the people who were gonna enjoy that still did. But, yeah. But it, but it, I mean, it, yeah, it absolutely had an impact on it. There you go. Um, oh, you know what? Actually. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, there was one. Okay. Very important. I was putting away this trench coat. Hell That's yeah. why I came. I came up here originally. All right, clean another objective. Um. Yeah. What uh? Uh, I would say for me too, a game that became a joke that no one talks. About, a game that became a joke because of too many uh, delays and just where is it? Devil's Third. Oh my <laughs> Kate, But you own a copy of that. Which oh like, yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I I tracked down the physical copy of that. I had to. Um. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts Three. I mean, you could say yeah. that, but it seems like people are enjoying it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do I have Game Pass? No, I don't have Game Pass. Oh, I love it. So yeah, that's the thing too, uh, tailing back to that. It's like, yeah, if, if they release this as a $60 title, which yeah. it is, uh, people wouldn't be happy. Yeah. So the, the thing I've been saying is uh, Microsoft is just giving this game away. They're yeah. using this to market Game Pass. Yeah. Because no one would be happy paying 60 bucks for this. And again, it's in stores, but like, again, if, if, yeah. if, if you really know what's up, you're not you're not paying full price of this. Yeah. But the deal right now is you get two months of Game Pass for $2. Oh, wow. So it's like, yeah, for $2 to play Crackdown 3, you'll be able to beat this within that yeah. window. Um, and then also check out Forza, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, all these other games we put on the service. Yeah. So they're basically giving this game away just to get people to install Game Pass. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's like, oh, it's a genius marketing move. And so, yeah, they're, like again, this game's been delayed and pushed so many times. I'm sure they kept looking at this and be like, oh, God, what are we going to do? It's too late to fix this. Okay, yeah. hey, uh, game, like... And now I, it's like they, it, they look like the heroes yeah. doing that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because like um, again, Game Pass is a great service, but like you know, just trying to rope people into it. So I think it's such a smart, smart, smart move. Because yeah. also, you're not going to be playing this for weeks. You'll get tired of it and like, well, I have Game Pass. I guess I'll try Forza. I guess I'll try whatever. Celeste is on there. Uh, and so then after that, it'll be interesting to see how many people stick with Game Pass. Because again, it worked for me. I really like Game Pass. Uh, yeah. Just the ability to be able to try this and stream it. 
you know, try it out, get my own opinions on it. Like, I really liked it. Yeah, I, I wasn't really... I think the concept of Game Pass is cool, but I don't really like the Xbox. And yeah. Honestly, and, and I have so many games I've bought that I back, have yeah, to yeah. play that I just... It, I, it doesn't have a place for me right now, yeah. but... I like the idea of it. There should be something like that on every system. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo is like close to that, and they just just need to go a little further. Uh, their online thing has all these NES games. It's like great. Just put all of them on there. You know, don't give us two a month. Like, do give us just a bunch, and then Super Nintendo and whatever. They're close. Uh, and then all of them will have something like that. I guess PlayStation has PlayStation now. Yeah, whatever, but then with but now it's like only it's not, old titles. Like the, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, you know. But there's an icon here, and I think it's just glitched. Like I don't know what the hell this is supposed to yeah. tell me because this card's broken up. So all right, whatever. I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So I'm gonna pick an objective. We'll pick whatever the hell this is. All right, put my waypoint there. But yeah. Um, now that you've beaten Red Dead. What uh? What are you playing now? What what uh? What are you checking out? Uh, you know, I honestly, my plan was okay. I'm going into Resident Evil Two now. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. But you know, I am someone who has to play. I, I can't. I have to play something totally different once I beat something. Yeah. And Resident Evil Two. Don't get me wrong. It's it's very different from Red Dead. But it still was like I'm not ready for another. I'm not ready for the blockbuster action game right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing Mario. <laughs> and, uh, the new Super Mario Brothers U or whatever that came out on Switch. All the Switch got all kinds of fun stuff this week. Uh, they uh, so I was playing the Mario game from you know that was last month. Uh, but then this Tetris game came out for free. Yeah, Tetris 99. Yeah, so I've been playing that. Uh, yeah. I, like, because so you because finally, Red Dead was such yeah, a big game, I yeah. want to play little small games now. Yeah. Or, or so you that? finally checking out a Battle Royale game. What do you think of the concept? Yeah, I mean, it's good. Yeah. But, but I did I did enjoy PUBG. Oh, I mean, yeah, I yeah, because you have that. that I did yeah, play yeah, a little bit yeah. of that. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, but yeah, that Tetris thing is awesome. There's a demo of the Yoshi game, which oh, is Oh, cool. what is it? Oh, yeah, the, the Direct happened, too. Yes, and oh my god, I was losing it at the Link's Awakening right? announcement. That is one of my all-time favorite games. Um, people asking uh, in the end, what is it? Did you get very far in Red Dead? No, what that's a game. With- that's a game where it's like God. Like again, I, I still have to beat God of War. There's yeah, so many shorter yeah. games I want to play before I jump into Red Dead. Yeah, that's Red, just Red, like uh, Red Dead was like no. my whole Christmas break. Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't know how I would have beat that game if I didn't have, yep. like, a Christmas well, that, break to that, just that, play. That, that's why Persona 5 took me a whole year to beat. It's like, I, I, I struggled that with Persona, that I want to I need to catch up on all these games, yeah. and then maybe I'll get back into Red Dead. I might do what you do and stream it, like, too. But, yeah, yeah. it's like, I need to try That got me through it, because I was starting yep. to lose yep. motivation, because, like, this is so long. And that's what I did, yeah. yeah. I, I, again, like, it's, I'm using streaming now to catch up on my backlog. is yeah. uh, It's great. And people like it. Like, I think it would totally work to do more of it. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, but my final thoughts on Red Dead. Uh, that w- I had never played a Rockstar game through like that before, ever. Yeah. It was really a, a fantastic... I mean, if you want a game about the Old West, that was the definitive game. Yeah. It was an incredible experience. I do think the main story was too long. I, not, I, I didn't mind it being a little longer. It's kind of an epic. Uh, so I didn't mind it being longer, but it was a little too long... And then there's an epilogue, and I kind of felt I could go into it a bunch, but I don't want to go. I don't want to like get into yeah, that yeah. story shit. But uh, but I felt like that was like not for me. Um, so by the end, I was like, please end. But but I can't deny it was a fantastic experience overall, and the soundtrack yeah. was amazing. In like two weeks, in two weeks. Uh, they're doing a concert in LA that's up, like they're just playing the score or something of that game. I think I have to go to that. Like I'm looking into it. Um, but uh, overall, it was great. Am I liking open world games a lot more now? Um, I don't mean to hijack your stream. No, 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 about yeah, yeah. My, my bullshit. But uh, but uh, open world you, games. You did Spider Man and Breath of the Wild. Those are the two that like recently. Oh, and Re- yeah. fuck, and Red Dead. You did three of the like. Big different game changers. Yeah, yeah holy shit. That's um, right. I, you know, uh, yeah, I was always really anti open world, and I, I realized it was honestly with Breath of the Wild around then that I realized no, open world can be cool. It's just ha- it's got to have it's got to have a world that is engaging yeah. to me. 
And you know, Grand Theft Auto is like L.A. or New York. Just I don't. I'm not interested in that. But even even y y the Yakuza games are yeah. not. They're not as open as as Grand Theft Auto. But I still like exploring 80s Japan because yeah. that's interesting to me. I just didn't. Um, you know, but. So it could have been, like, yeah, GTA 4 I tried and I didn't like that, so maybe that soured me, but I didn't really, I, I didn't like Skyrim either. I, I didn't, um, I felt, you know, I, I think for me it's, like, just general fantasy, like, if it's not J.R.R. Tolkien, like, I'm, eh, kind of, whatever. <laughs> I just didn't care oh, about shit. that. Uh, but I think when it is an engaging world, and the Old West, fuck, I love the Old West, so... This game was just, I, I, you know, a lot of people were talking about the slower pace of Red Dead. I thought that was 100% appropriate for that game. It should be slower, a little clunkier. I think that was beautiful. I think that was so, so well done. Uh, I was going to ask about the, because we talked about the Nintendo Direct, uh, Astral, I think, the, what the fuck's the game called? Astral Chain? Astral Chain? I think. Is that what it was? There's either Astral Breed, but I think it's a metal But it's a new Astral, uh, Platinum game, yeah, right? Yeah, it just looks like yeah. 80s cyberpunk anime, the video game. Oh my god, it looks awesome. It yeah, looks so good. Uh, I'm so in for and, that. And uh, Kamiya supervising, yeah. That it was a little stuff. weird, though, that, like, it was, like, early 2018, or early, shit, late 2017 that they said, that they showed us Bayonetta 3. Oh, wow. It is a little weird that now here's this new game, and it's like, what? We and, haven't gotten another and, update and, on. Yeah, and Bayonetta then I don't 3. know if it's the same guy, but the director of Bayonetta Two just left Platinum Games, oh. so I wonder if maybe, uh, you maybe know, that slowed it down. Internal politics or whatever, but uh, Astral Chain in the meantime looks great. No, it looks awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, Link's Awakening. What else going on? Oh, yeah, Tetris Ninety Nine. Tetris Ninety Nine. Uh, that one game by Ninja Theory. What is it? Shen Shen Long or what? The, no, it's not called that. But uh, what was it? That one Ninja Theory game is getting ported to Switch. I never had time to play. Oh, Hellblade Sensuna. Yes. Um, you I might, never, you I might, never. you might dig that game. Uh, the, so that game is only takes like seven hours. Oh, if, if yeah. you liked God of War, you'll like it. Yeah. Okay. Same shit, same setting. It is more, uh, it is more storytelling than actual combat, and the okay. combat in it's super easy. It's just you're going through this like. You know, Norse experience, yeah. picking up items, doing some puzzles, very similar to God of War, and yeah. it tells a cool story. The stuff awesome. it does with sound design is incredible. Oh, okay. So play that game with headphones or if okay. you have a nice sound system. Um, I was expecting, because it was Ninja Theory, I was expecting hack and slash, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It is like, oh, 70% like storytelling shit. Well, every, but the thing is, everyone has told me like that game was like graphics city. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should not play it on Switch, play it on PS4. But Probably. the thing is, yeah. The thing is, is I don't, I never had time to play that, yeah. So, but I would play it on Switch. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like sure. Doom uh, Doom yeah, 2016, yeah. like I kind of ran out of time at home to play it. Yeah. But I got it on Switch and it doesn't yeah, look as so good, I, but it's so fun. Yeah, so that's, so I, I think that's the way too. It's like if, if uh, it's better it, than not playing Yeah, exactly. It. If people want Rocket to play Hellblade, it'll, it's more accessible and then it'll make time yeah. for it. Uh, uh, absolutely. Whereas like, you know, God of War, I yeah. made time for that. Yeah. If it, it, I'm not saying that yeah, would come to yeah. Switch, but if it did, yeah. I, I would... Nah, I already, you know, PS4 was the way to go, but, um, uh, what was the other one? I got Final Fantasy IX on Switch. It also cracks me up, it that. also cracks me up that Final Fantasy IX is playable on Xbox now. Yeah. Like, just, I mean, which is cool, but I, again, it's just, we, we grew up in a time where you didn't have that multi-third party yeah. shit with Final Fantasy. Like, Final Fantasy was an Nintendo yeah. property and a PlayStation property. The fact that Final Fantasy, like, 9 is on Xbox yeah. is, like, it's, feel, it's weird. Well, I, I, will, I can't wait to get FF7 on Switch. And not even because... Honestly, like, I just played that recently, so I'm not dying to replay yeah. it. But I would love the idea of now having that everything. on, on and everything. Oh, I died, I didn't realize. But, uh, yeah. Final Fantasy... Because Final Fantasy 7 was originally being developed for Nintendo... 20 years ago and they went nah not gonna work and it went to playstation but until then it was a nintendo thing having that back on nintendo to me is like that's such a great feeling now new box boy i'm fucking amped on so box what was boy. A, what is box books i saw a thing of it what, what, little yeah. little kind of puzzle game made yeah. by was it hal that makes okay, it okay okay uh where you're a little box boy you just gotta solve puzzles yeah. to get out of rooms that's yeah. it it's great what, what was the original on was it a ds three, game three ds three oh, okay yeah because art style super cute super stoked on that it was like a little game that they made like hey we're not doing yeah. smash brothers let's de-stress and, cool. and they made box boy you know, it's like graphics don't matter. Here's box. Hell yeah! All right, that's uh, it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and it, controversial. If anyone out there feels the same way, let me know. 
But I have a feeling everyone is going to say, oh, fuck you, dude. I do not, I cannot, ma I do not care about Mario Maker at all. I just See, don't. I, I completely, I, I'm, I'm in a good position. I never got Mario Maker on Wii yeah. U because it was Wii U, which yeah. I just didn't use. Yeah. Now that it's on Switch, the idea of like, oh, let me just, let me just like try yeah. some random Mario World things, maybe. Yeah. And, and that would be a fun game to stream too. Uh, yeah. But yeah. That's what I said. I told my brother this. I'm like, dude, I don't want to make levels. I don't. I, that is just something. When I play a game, I'm like, it's to get away from work. Yeah. So I don't want to make stuff. Um, and you know, they're you know, it's like, oh, you can play uh, your friends' levels or your other people's levels. But I did that, and I feel like no, one, like people would fuck up their levels. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I can't. Or make really hard get shit. Past it. Yeah. So I just don't care. But but I said that all to my brother, and he's like, I bet you'll change your tune now that it's on a cool system. Yep. Because yeah, Wii U, it was like, I, I just was not yeah. enjoying that console by that point. And um, having it be super accessible on the on the Switch with the Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Hopefully that will make it better. I just, yeah. I, you know, it is what it is. But uh, somebody brought up uh, another thing that they just announced. And now I can't remember. It's not there anymore. Oh, good. Uh, the other thing, that, there was another thing. Shit. Oh, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance thing. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I normally don't really play those. I think this one looks awesome. Yeah, I, it's by Team Ninja. It's uh, they're, fu they're I played Marvel Ultimate Alliance one. And yeah, I liked I had, it. It was I fun. Had fun yeah, with that. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. That was like Eric Badur's yep. favorite game. I don't know what it was. It, that game, that was like his game. That was crack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if it looks alright, I might, I might be down for that. But then I also they, they straight up just put Ultimate Alliance one and two on. Uh, on like PS4 and all that, and that stuff is super cheap. So we'll, we'll see. Because uh, again, I'm, I'm like very wary of Marvel games post Disney. Like, yeah. I, I'm just, I, I feel like they're very stingy with their properties. But if this is like fun and goofy and good, yeah. again, uh, then yeah, I'm, I'd be down. But I'm just like nervous because like Marvel vs. Capcom post Disney yeah. was like, was but like, hopefully they learn less. I, I, I think they are loosening up on yeah. that a little yeah. bit. Because already there's characters in this. Well, also too, they bought Fox. Oh, they bought Fox, if, yeah. so like, I mean, this the game's coming out. Yeah. And it's got Wolverine. And, it's and, got and, all... and if they end up doing so, this is what I love about Spider-Man. If, if if this sensibility starts carrying more into more games, like if uh, if you can if you have like fun costumes and everything that you unlock, like cool cosmetic yeah. stuff or whatever. And I know the older games have that, but if they really lean into it, because I thought the Spider-Man PS4 game was so clever and cool, yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. I love that. Game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that would be cool if that works out. Murdoch says it has no idea Crackdown 3 existed. It just came out. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's the uh, exact same game, game as Crackdown 1. It is uh, brighter. Like, it had the, the, it leans into the neon the color aesthetic, which sure. is pretty cool. And it looks decent on HDR, but it doesn't look mind-blowing. Like, uh, it's so funny, because the game I've mostly been playing on, on Xbox One X is Forza. And that looks like, okay, this is, you know, current yeah. gen. Whereas this is still just, uh, yeah, this is uh, the 12-year-old game Crackdown. All right, what I need to go, I need to go to The best-looking game I've seen in HDR so far was uh, maybe either God of War or... Uh, yeah, I'm playing that right now on my... Horizon. Oh, God of War looks um, so good. Zero Dawn or whatever. Uh, but also the Shadow of the Colossus remake. That was like straight up 4K HDR. Uh, but on Xbox, Gears of War 4 looked incredible. Um, and I actually enjoyed that game. I didn't expect to. I was kind of like, ugh, when they announced it. Oh, I really I really yeah. liked it, yeah. I still haven't... I still need to play those games. Uh, they're, I love them. Yeah. Uh, after 3, uh, I was like, nah, I'm good. And so when they announced 4, I was uh, like, nope. Yeah. But it ended up being like, it was a fun game. Yeah. God damn it, I'm dying. I need to uh, kill some people. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Here, I get some help back. Boom. Alright. Yeah, there's like objectives you have to do, but then uh, you're constantly being shot at by people, so it's easier to. Oh, there you go. I gotta get this like Terminator sky plane. Okay, got that down. There you go. Uh, but yeah, this game has a very comic book aesthetic, which, uh, which I like. But like, it's not so specific or deep with its uh, world style. Like, it is just generic comic book city. But taking it for what it is, it's like, all right, this, this works. 
but uh, I was saying earlier, uh, Sunset Overdrive, like that game nailed it. And I feel like that's just a game that nobody tried. Uh, so again, if you have Game Pass, play Sunset Overdrive, because that game is great. But uh, yeah. Black and white looks amazing in 4K HDR. That's true. I I got the uh, for Christmas. I got the 4K Blu-ray of Schindler's List. Oh wow! And it looks um, incredible. But man, kind of a bummer Christmas present. To be totally honest, I was like, yeah, let's pop this in. Oh. I remember, I forget what movie I was seeing in theaters, but like, yeah, that trailer played before the movie, and it was like, okay, like, yeah. it's just like, all right, yep, yeah, all right. Think about the Holocaust right before seeing, like, this movie. Yeah, the, the game, like, I don't know. There's, it, it tries to be jokey, but it's like what? I, like again, I, I listen to podcasts when I play this game, so I don't uh, mind or pay attention to the uh, random ass commentary. But yeah, this is uh, this is cracked. Up. It's not more. It's not more than what you see here. Uh, the fun thing is, oh, I need to do this objective. No, I don't need that. What did I do? There's another tank. Oh, the orange thing on the screen. The icon. Um, there's uh, the the fun about this game is uh, collecting agility orbs, which oh. increases like uh, how much you can run, jump. And all yeah. that uh, ammo, and so like again, I listen to podcasts when I play this game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I run. It's uh, fun to run around, and collect agility orbs, and that was like the big thing when this game originally came out back in 2005, 2006, whatever. Uh, oh my god, there's still more fucking tanks. Where is it? It says to go over there. I have to go, I have to go over there. Uh, yeah, right now I'm just doing random missions, but I want to jump around and do the agility stuff. There's also like timed races, very similar to Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, I gotta hold this to hack it. Boom. But yeah, this came out today. Uh, Anthem is out for people who are on like the for Origins Early Access. And then there's also Metro Exodus, which uh, is a shitload of games. In addition to Apex being out, Tetris 99 coming out. Yeah. Uh, Think the movie yesterday based on Beatles music will be any good? Hey, I love that premise. I like Danny Boyle a lot. Danny Boyle's directing it, right? Yeah, okay. and I think that pre I think we need more crazy premises in movies yeah. to be. I mean, I, the other day I turned on TV and Big was on, and oh, I was like, yeah. yes, exactly. And I think that Beatles thing is totally like I I'm, I love that. Yeah. Well, I, I like that. I, I like, like Danny Boyle. Yeah, I like that's an original premise because, like, I love Danny Boyle. Like, I saw Jobs. Yeah. I did not see Train Spotting too because I didn't need to check back in with that, those characters. Yeah, like, I, I, I no, never yeah. saw that. Yeah, and I didn't hear any. I didn't hear anything about anyone who did. Isn't but that it, weird? Yeah. They talked about that for so long. Yeah, yeah. and then it came out nothing. Yeah. Uh, but I like Danny Boyle a lot. Yeah. And Danny Boyle left Bond, I think, to do this. Wow. So, okay. And again, he there, was he was on that, and it was like, nah. Yeah, they had to make something more. Only yeah, they had to make something more British. <laughs> the premise for it, Blinded Fish, is something happens to the world that everyone forgets the, who the Beatles is, except for one guy, and that one guy is like trying to like. Yeah, so it's like a what if, like what if the Beatles never made? Yeah, it? what if the what if the Beatles didn't exist and he, but he this one oh, guy remembers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And so he's like. He's a musician, so he like plays some of their songs, and they're like, "Oh, oh, what's that?" And he's in the studio at one point with like Ed Sheeran, and he starts singing "Hey Jude, Hey Jude," and Ed Sheeran's like, "No, change, dude, make it Hey Dude." No, that's not how you do it. That's not, you know, it's like it's just uh, one guy against the rest of the world. Do they? Okay, yeah. Because I was trying to think, like, do they recreate John Lennon's assassination? But probably not. Nope. They'll probably have to see it. But that, that's where my mind went yeah. to. Uh, uh, did you, you end up seeing that movie? Uh, yeah, Arctic. Arctic? I, I talked about it earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, I liked it, but I, I don't think it does anything spectacular. Because I, I love survival films, so yeah. I've, I've just seen them all. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I wanted this to, like... 
take me on a ride like uh, Gravity or Dunkirk. Yeah, those are yeah. very high bars, but uh, sure. that's what I wanted. Uh, it was just, hey, it's a survival thriller. It is exactly what it is. And it's made by a YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, visual storytelling is <laughs> good. Mads Mikkelsen, they shot on location. Like, yeah. it's, it's gorgeous. Um, my thought after it ended was I wish it was more nihilistic. So uh, that's just my taste. Uh, yeah. Like, it was just like, oh, oh, that ha-, like, yeah, um, it, and I was also saying, like, it's hard to do that after The Revenant because it's yeah. like, oh my god, The Revenant was, they, like, yeah. nailed it. Like, so, um, I almost even be wary to say, like, you don't, I, I liked it. If, if that's still up your alley, hey, check it out. Uh, but yeah. this would be a good movie when it's on Netflix. Hey, put this on, yeah, watch it. It's yeah. cool. Uh, it's not something you need to see. I liked it, but, uh, it was just like I think I just have high expectations for those sure. movies because I've just seen so many. Sure. It's, it's kind of why after a while I got really bored of uh, POV horror films because like yeah. when Blair Witch came out and Cloverfield was like, oh this is fun, this is cool, and then everyone started making them. It's like, yep, okay, yep. What? And then, you know, then you I haven't pushed it. it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, well, I, I like Mads Mikkelsen. It's it's cool. But uh, there's a movie I'd mentioned earlier on this stream. But Robert Redford did a film a few years ago by the guy who made A Most Violent Year. Uh, it's called All Is Lost. And the premise of the film starts, Robert Redford's a sail- the sailor uh, on a boat. The film starts with his boat getting a leak. And then the whole movie is just him trying to survive on yeah, the boat. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah. yeah what did you I think saw, of that? Uh, I think I, I can't. Well, okay. This is my memory yes, of it. Yes. I got to the part. With, I got to that. Yeah. Uh, well, no. Or was there another leak situation later it on? Gets, what, it gets fucked up. It gets it's way yeah, worse. Yeah, it gets and worse. when it happened. Yeah. This is no joke. Yeah. This is going to sound like something I wrote. Yeah. I started feeling like... I feel like I'm wet. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, uh, and uh, there was a leak. No way. Leak in my house. No yeah. way. No joke. So uh, that, had, that was a whole... I had to stop that movie yep. and repair... We had oh, to get a Jesus. whole repair crew Jesus. and all that stuff. Uh, but it was during that. That's wow. why I was cracking up. It's like, wow. dude, I thought I was tripping. Well, it's good you didn't watch Volcano and then have like yeah, Dante's Peak. Like, yeah, Jesus. But uh, it was seriously like, what the fuck? I thought I was tripping balls. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, but uh, anyway, I-, I think I remember liking it. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember yeah. honestly. I was so like derailed by that. Uh, but yeah, I liked it. But I think what it was is like, okay, the Revenant. They did uh, Revenant. They did the Ark. You know, they did the, they did like Winter Wilderness. Uh, the Martian did Mars. All's Lost did water. Castaway did water. This movie did snow. It's like, oh, I've seen it before. Yeah. Again, not bad, but it's just like, all right, I, I, I really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just why it's this weird place. Like, I liked it, but uh, it just didn't blow me away. My favorite uh, I'm stuck somewhere in, like, kind of one place movies yeah. are... I really liked 127 Hours, speaking of... Yeah, that was another good survival speak, movie. Speaking yeah, of Danny, Danny Boyle, Boyle yeah. I thought that was an excellent movie. Yes. Because, uh, like, Phone Booth got announced, and I remember being <laughs> oh, excited for that, wait, but I was the not... fucking call it Farrell for that, like... Yeah. That's... <laughs> no, uh, but, like, yeah. stuck in the one, you yeah, know... Yeah, I mean, it was like a Hitchcock... Yeah, okay, so I remember watching it way later, being like, oh, this is, like, cheesy, but yeah, at well, the time... I wasn't into that. Its premise was, like, a Hitchcock thriller. Yeah. yeah it's like, okay, but, yeah, it's, um, uh... Green, green Room... I, I'm just talking about you're stuck somewhere. Movie. Yeah, Green Room is more. I, I liked horror. Green Room, but I didn't yeah. love it. Oh, like love it, it yeah, ended. Yeah. When it ended, I was kind of like, "Oh, that was it." Like I, I just felt I, I was entertained while I was watching it quite a bit. But it just kind of I thought it, I thought it was a great like first part, and I did, and then it ended, and I was like, "Oh, I I was just ready for shit to get deeper <laughs> after they left." Uh, I, uh, but even I even Gre- okay. Green Room gave me that experience. Like Green Room, I yeah, guess you're right. I was, I was very entertained. I was Don't so fucking in- scared and tense during too. that. Me too. Me uh, too. So I'm not. I'm Arctic not did, never did that to me. It was just like, okay, yep, yeah, next. Yeah. And then it ended. It was like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that was yeah. cool. Um, Swamp Thought asked, "What boat movie? All is lost." I mean, it's gonna be the same experience, but I just like the premise. It was on a boat. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. I, I, I I think, and because I, I got that out of that movie when I saw Arctic, it just didn't yeah, hit me. Totally. Now, if you see Arctic instead of All is Lost, you'll get the same thing. Like, it's, you know, I think that's just what it's like, yeah. Um, but yeah, good, good shit. Um, and then I, I, re- I read a book, uh, there's other two books I, re- I read a long time ago by the same author, but uh, Into the Wild and uh, Into Thin Air. Uh, In- oh, yeah. Into Thin Air is the, uh, is like the, the, the account of like the Everest disaster. Yeah. And I remember it like, there's even a documentary, there's an IMAX documentary called Everest where they go into all that. Yeah, that's that, right. And that was awesome. Uh, so I, I, I just, I, I'm really fascinated by survival. It's, uh, God, I love it. Okay, how the fuck do I hit this core? Do I gotta shoot at it? Oh, I just gotta hit the core? Hit the core. 
All is frost. Damn, thrice, thrice not yet. That's a uh, excellent. Shit. I gotta switch my other gun. This doesn't do any damage. Oh, there's a shit. I was not even shooting it. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna dump all my rockets into here. Oh, okay. Yeah, six to six to to uh, go deeper on Mega Man 128's comment. Sixty dollar game, Omega Lol. Yeah, that, uh, I've been saying all stream. This is not worth sixty dollars. It's absolutely worth getting Game Pass for. Yeah. Uh, and again, that that is what Microsoft's openly doing. I think that's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't look at this as a sixty dollar game. I look at this as this is a like piece of candy to get people into yeah. uh, into uh, Game Pass, which is cool. Like that's exactly what it is, and I'm happy with it. Oh, uh, speaking of movie, going back to yeah. movie stuff. Yes. I saw First Man. Yes, what do you I, think? I was legitimately blown away how just okay that movie oh, was. Oh, really? Okay. It was not bad. Yeah. But every ingredient was such a fantastic ingredient that it's like almost incredible how it was <laughs> like that was the most just okay <laughs> use of all of it. Yeah, yeah. But it, it had so many great things in it. Uh, it had so many great things in it. Uh like but it was fine. I, I, I'm not. I didn't say I hate it. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't just like it. But it was. It was like. It didn't like reach for like something truly great. I thought. Oh but, man. But I thought uh, the way it was executed was fantastic. Uh, especially how they did the moon stuff was like. Yeah, incredible. and that was something where they had like a practical set. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that all, was that like, was all in camera. amazing. Uh, yeah. There's a million things yeah. I could say were amazing. Man, yeah, I uh, I really loved it. And that was a film that grew with me after I watched it because I yeah. watched it. It was like, oh, you know, not. I mean, it wasn't gonna be as good as like Whiplash yeah. or. Uh, La La Land, because those are so personal films. Yeah. And this was Chazelle's first for hire movie. Yeah. Well, actually, he did for hire work on Ten Cloverfield Lane and other stuff as like a writer. But this oh, was like, okay. hey, you're gonna direct this as a studio movie. And so yeah. what I liked about Damien Chazelle is he still wedged his personal thing, because like the whole thing about that movie is just trying to achieve the impossible, which yeah, carries through yeah. La La Land and Whiplash. Right. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought just the premise of just making the whole thing about just him, him his personal conquest with like his daughter, yeah. I thought was such a good like hook of that movie kind of like how aaron sorkin nailed doing steve jobs yeah, by anchoring yeah. across this i thought that was like the interesting challenge that they yeah overcame. that's true that's cool yeah uh you know like okay yeah how do we tell a story that's been told so many times before okay let's let's do this angle yeah. uh and even the opening sequence like where he's on a test pilot like man i uh yeah god i uh i loved it i loved it but i'm glad you saw it i'm glad you saw it yeah um i'm still so I get. I could see why. I guess it didn't get nominated for like best picture. I guess, yeah. uh, but there's still a lot of stuff. I think it could have been nominated for. I love the music score. Yeah, I love, just I, I, yeah. I love just about every ingredient in it. It just all together. I thought it was fine. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. Um, I didn't see the house that Jack built. I love the favorite too. Yeah. I, I that I would. I love. I loved how they shot it. The most of all, yeah. But I really, really and, and what's funny it. is that was his first for hire job. Uh, oh, that was yeah. a project they wanted him to shoot, but I love that they let him still be that director. Go because nuts. His yeah, wide-angle lenses, the like, yeah. just the sharpness of they're the breaking, dialogue. They're breaking out that skater fish eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I love it, because it's like, his previous movie, uh, fuck, what was it called? Uh, I never remember the title, Killing of a Sacred Deer. Yeah. Uh, is shot like a Kubrick film. It, that Watching that movie makes me feel The Shining. It's so unsettling and dark. Yeah. Uh, and like as I was watching, it was like, oh, the cinematography, like this dude's Kubrick. And then boom, sure enough, next film, it's like, yep, Barry Lyndon with the yeah, fish eye. Like, that fuck, was awesome. so cool. That was awesome. Yeah. I really liked that yeah. movie a lot. Oh shit. Like, I got a good ammo. Oh, there we go. Fuck. No. I need, to, I need to kill lower people to get uh, to get my health back up, and then I can go back up to the boss. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh. It's very close to dying. I'm gonna get it. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Cool. Boom. There we go. Got an achievement. Achievement. Thank Whoa, you. It's purple. Why yeah, is it purple? I customized my thing. Oh. You, you can like customize your uh, yeah, home page nice. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, I, I made it purple. Nice. I, although, oh, okay. I thought the game froze, but it's because I, I paused it. Oh, I shit. Pause the thing. Yeah. 
There you go. One one boss down, I think, out of, like, three. Hell yeah. I read somewhere that you can beat this whole game in, like, eight hours. Oh, So no it's like, yep, play it for the weekend. Perfect uh -huh. Game Pass game. Um, I really am itching to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Like, I have so many better games to play, and I'll get to it, but... Tomb Raider, I, I enjoyed those other two of those games. I might, I might play in the future, but down, down the line. And yeah, the way it works, there's a big, big open world, and like every enemy you kill makes like the center hub weaker. So you're kind of working towards that. Uh, but I don't pay attention to the bigger picture. I'm just, going, just, just doing whatever's in front of me on screen. Uh, again, perfect mindless game. All right. I gotta return this code. So Hell yeah. I'll Hell yeah, thank you for popping in. Hell yeah. Gersman said he beat in an afternoon. Hell yeah, that must be a good afternoon. Alright, I'm gonna set up and get my musical guest back. I'm gonna drink some water. I've been streaming for an hour and a half. I'm gonna get my headphones. I'm going to take some calls on the uh, PPS Discord. If anyone wants to pop into the waiting room, I'll take some calls. Uh, you know, I'm all about being genuine. Uh, so, you know, whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you want to talk about. We'll play Crackdown. All right, got my homies here. Someone said Shadow Terminator was good. Glad to hear it. Not as good as Rides. Okay. Better tombs, less combat. All right. Well, I hate puzzles, so we'll see. All right, let me get this. I have to tweak the game audio. This is my first stream in this format, uh, taking calls, so thanks for bearing with me during the changeovers. All right, let's see, are there any homies hanging out? Should probably pee pee, but that's fine. I got Bullets Wick. I didn't even, I don't even know if they're there. Bull is tick. Hey. How's it going, gamer? What's up? Hey, Frank. Yo. Hey, I'm not bad. How are you? Great. Yo. Fantastic. <laughs> I thought we'd all the British talk tonight. I thought I'd give you a call in. I'm calling from merry old England. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We're, we're in England. Well, actually, a town called Nottingham. Nottingham, all right. Famous for Robin Hood. Nottingham, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was mainly calling to basically talk about Crackdown 3 because it was made in Nottingham, I think. No way. Uh, well, one was Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sumo Didio, a digital, isn't it? Sumo. Oh, awesome. They're, yeah. Uh, yeah, based in Nottingham. They've got other, I think they've got a couple of other studios. They actually acquired, um, is it a Chinese room? That other um, developer who made the Everybody's Gone to the Rapture? Oh, okay, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So you now I was, yeah, I was just calling to represent, yeah, local pride, basically. Awesome. What see uh, how it's going? Yeah. What uh, did you have a question? A topic you want to chat about? Ooh, I need something. Yeah, no, I was going to say, um, I'm actually on the way getting to the Xbox One soon. My dad, my dad's giving me his uh, Xbox One because he he can't be doing with. The, the control pad apparently. Okay, he's, all right, yeah. He's, he's got himself, he's actually like a, a proper uh, well, elite PC gamer now. Okay, he's bought himself all right. a really top rig. Perfect, that's so, great. So, um, yeah, you, you recommend the Game Pass, because I think that's only like maybe a couple of yeah, dollars it's, uh, for us over here. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the deal is in the UK, but in America it's uh, $10, mm. which is pretty, very affordable. In America the promotion Ooh. is it's $2 for two months. Uh, they might have some promotion in the UK too where it's probably the free for the first month. But yeah, if you're getting an Xbox One and you get a Game Pass, you're going to have so many different games to play on there. Um, especially if you haven't been keeping up with any Xbox shit. Uh, I recommend Sunset yeah. Overdrive is on there. Forza Horizon 4 yeah. actually takes place in England, so I think you will dig yeah, that. Yeah, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> you know, and then, local scene, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have Celeste on there, which is a really awesome game. Um, Ashen is on there, which I haven't played yet, but that's kind of like a new Dark Souls type game, okay. uh, which looks cool. But yeah, I, I, I say it's worth uh, checking out. I really dig Game Pass. I'm gonna stick with it. Um, and uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, check. I think it's absolutely oh. worth trying for ten dollars. All right, mm -hmm. I'll look at it. I'm really looking forward to kind of getting stuck into some of the exclusives that you know, because I'm a PS4. Yeah, more than anything. Yeah, and that's good that you still have PS4 because yeah, I think it's fun. Just like every console has something. Uh, yeah, but uh, exactly. yeah, and again, all with, with Microsoft, all of their uh, new exclusives are just going to be coming to Game Pass. So I'm sure they're going to be announcing a, a bunch of shit at uh, E3. Uh, so I'm sure there's also going to be a lot of shit that's like, all right, this is on, going to be coming to Game Pass, and it's out now. You know, yada yada yada. So uh, yeah, I think mm. I think you're in for a good time. Yeah, the one thing I'm really looking forward to is Rare Replay. There's so yes. many games Dude, on Dude, I think a lot of the, a lot of Xbox Live Arcade and Rare shit is on there. Like Perfect Dark, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. I think a lot of that is just already in on Game Pass. So you're going to be in retro platforming heaven. 
Uh, State of Decay oh, yeah. 2 is on oh, there. Yeah. Jordan Jones is on there. And I might do some more streaming oh, yeah. stuff uh, where I, like, play with friends. Uh, like, uh, someone mentioned, Jordan Jones keeps mentioning doing Sea of Thieves. So it might be fun to do a Sea of Thieves, oh, yeah. uh, like, play stream. And so if you're if you're on and available at this time, then you could be in my party. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh, thanks yeah, for watching. Good. Enjoy uh, your Xbox One. Uh, other than Xbox yeah, One, uh, what games have you been playing and what are you looking forward to? Um, I've got Resident Evil 2, so Hell I've downloaded yeah. that uh, yeah. Ghost Survivors today. I've been playing a bit of that. I only just really started it, and it's, man, it's, it's pretty hard. It's almost, a, have you got to the uh, the fourth Survivor? No, uh, I haven't, I haven't mode. unlocked. Oh, wait, for, oh, I've got, the, the Hunk mode I've played. I haven't played Tofu. Hunk, yeah, the Hunk, but yeah, the yeah, Tofu yeah, mode, yeah. Tofu mode, no, fuck. The Hunk mode, I tried once and immediately bounced off. It was too hard. But I thought it was cool yeah, that they added too. it, and I moved on. Uh, but they did add the, yeah. PS, the PS1 Polygon graphics today which uh yeah i got hold really of that cool. as well the it's 98 really cool. costumes yeah. yeah 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 looking forward to so i want to go for s rank definitely Fuck and, yeah uh, yeah crap that but I, I was just listening to the dr ryan i had no idea some of the uh trophies yeah were, there's like, a lot of uh fun trophies. so many steps yeah what the fuck yeah i can't do that i think, I think it's nice. i think it's cool Ridiculous. uh and then uh yeah. i'm trying to think what the other Oh yeah, Xbox got a lot of achievements so if you ever want if you want if you ever want to get some achievements yeah, that's xbox true. is the place oh, man, no, no. It's, yeah, it's just a time to grind. Yeah. I was also going to mention, it, a previous call was going on about Tyrannosaurus or Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, or yeah. It's called. That, is a, that is an amazing movie. All right, it's and you are from the UK, so it's it's a locally approved. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can give you the thumbs All up right, on that one. Two thumbs up for that one. Tired, yeah. Yeah. All it was, right. It was, um, it's got Olivia Coleman in it as well, who's okay. just recently won a shitload of awards. Oh, you're, for, you're from um, the UK. Are you a big uh, Charlie Brooker fan? Charlie Brooker, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I, oh, man. I, I've been following Charlie Brooker for a long time, uh, way before Black Mirror. I, I still haven't seen... Uh, uh, how is... Uh, was, what, what is the uh, the zombie show, Dead Set? How, have you seen that? Is that worth checking out? Oh, uh, no. No, I haven't seen that yet. That's, okay. that's definitely on my list. Yeah, he, the, he did like a yeah, six-episode zombie uh, miniseries, which sounds fantastic. It's like right. a, That sounds great. Yeah, I love Charlie Brooker. And anytime he's, I, I, uh, I, I talk to my British friends, I always discuss Charlie Brooker. He's, he's a legend. He actually started out as a PC gamer... Uh, magazine yes. uh, review editor for a game British That's BC true. Mag, which is awesome. So he's a gamer. Yeah, yeah. He's one of us. He gets it. Charlie exactly, cool. exactly. One of a, one of the funny things because he's got he's been involved with so many different projects. One of yeah. my funniest or the funniest thing I've got is this um, show called Nathan Barnett, and it's all about kind of you might like it in a way because it's all yeah. about in the UK, especially in London, in in an area called Croydon. Okay. Um, there was these kind of like hipster almost like. They, they just term as the, the idiots. The, the, oh, the I think I've stuff. seen like a screenshot or something yeah. about that. Okay, yeah. So it's just them making fun of like. Yeah, yeah. It's like got, UK it's got loads of. Um, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's cool. got loads of um, kind of uh, people who've moved on to the great things awesome. like. Um, oh, what's his name? Ben Wishaw, who was in Perfume Story of Murder, okay. and he's. Uh, I think uh, I think he's the new uh, oh, Q in James Bond movies. Hell yeah! And uh, yeah, if you have you ever seen the Mighty Boosh? The, the no, so you, I'm so behind on British comedy. So like, <laughs> uh, no, I'm excited to check all that shit out. Uh, my favorite is uh, the Peter yeah. Serafinowicz show. Uh, I love Peter Serafinowicz. Uh, but yeah, there's there's plenty oh. more plenty more uh, London or just uh, British comedians I need to get into. But uh, yeah, thank yeah. you for uh, it's weird, man. thank you for checking in. Thank you. Yeah, if you if, what's your name in the chat? Oh, ballistic. Yeah. Ballistic. Okay, cool. I remember you guys, yeah, I know. Okay. I mean, you guys, uh, I, I put a comment in ages ago, and you guys were like, Bullsack? Bulls? Okay. Monster Bullsack? No, yeah. I'll, 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 well, it's it always a pleasure to hear from you. Uh, in the future, yeah, feel free to pop it's in and, and tell me how you're doing with the Xbox One. Um, yeah, man. I'm probably just, always going to cover whatever new shit's on Game Pass, good or bad, because I think it's just a... F it's, oh, like, geez. again, the other thing I like about Xbox is, like, no one gives a shit about it, which is why it's kind of fun to play because no one is really talking about it. So yeah, fuck it, let's check it out. I, don't, I, I have nothing to lose. It's yeah, fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, thanks so much for calling. I appreciate it. Feel no free worries, to man. pop in yeah, again. No Pleasure, Take man. Care. Peace. Keep, keep doing the stream at right. uh, these times because it's the only time I can watch. But Thank cheers, you man. so much. I, that, I appreciate it. it. Peace. Hell yeah. Oops, I accidentally disconnected. Let me pop back. I'm gonna move ballistic. I accidentally disconnected. Uh, yeah, feel free to pop in the the PPS Discord uh, if you guys want to chat about anything. Uh, I'm all about it. I have not been playing the game. I've been I've been fucking around with these frozen grenades, which suck. I need to get some better grenades, but I just can't stop killing people and just moving forward. Um, I'm gonna go to supply point, switch my grenades because these are pissing me off. I'm also uh, heavily under like attack from the the police or whatever the hell this this thing is. So maybe we need to just get out of here. I can't get. Okay, we need to get out of here. But I gotta eliminate Terra Nova forces. 
shit. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Let's just drive out of here. How do I get in the car? It's like uh, it's like Batman or whatever. All right. Are the enemies different or the same? You're yeah, you're fighting like corporate. You're fighting like corporate America in this game. Um, I really don't know. I'm not really paying attention. There's spider form, which is a uh, goofy as hell. You can jump. You ever see a car jump? <laughs> All right. This is Crackdown Three. This is Crackdown 3. It's Crackdown 3. Alright, keep going. Goofy ass game, but I'm into it. Someone said the driving looks bad. This looks better than Forza. I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, these fucking cops keep following me. Maybe I need to eliminate them. That's what's asking me to do. Yeah, if you want to call in, hang out in the PPS waiting room, and then I'll, I'll, dr I'll bring you on. God damn it, how do I get rid of Terranova? Do I have to destroy them? That's, is that what the 88% is? Probably. <laughs> Hell yeah. This reminds me of playing up like Vice City, just playing an old ass open world game. Alright, let's fight these Terranova forces, because they won't leave me alone. I don't like this frozen grenade. It's really upsetting me. Boom. Kennedy TV says they're very disappointed with the game. Uh, yeah, if you've, if you've been in the stream earlier, maybe not, but I, I mentioned how uh, I had very low expectations for this game. I was wanting, I wanted Crackdown 1, and be careful what you wish for, because this is Crackdown 1. Uh, old school, and you know what? I'm totally fine with it. Um, it's not a game I'd pay 60 bucks for, but for free on Game Pass, or 2 bucks a month for Game Pass, 10 bucks a month, whatever, as a Game Pass game, perfect. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm very nostalgic for the original Crackdown. I, I played that game a lot. Uh, you know, back when it came out. I think I was a freshman or sophomore in high school. I would play a lot while listening to podcasts or listening to, like, No Effects, just, like, listening to goofy, you know, mu music. Uh, it, it's so I really liked the original Crackdown, and so this is, like, a fun nostalgia trip. Okay, what do I got here? I'm sick of these cryo grenades. They suck. But, uh, yeah, I did get an achievement. Thank you, uh, background gamer friends. You are my background gamer friend. You're pointing it out. Appreciate it. Let me see. I'm going to take a look into chat. Uh, let me see. All right, no one on air to call. It's totally fine. I'm gonna link the Discord. If you want to pop in, say hello, PPS Discord. Pop in the waiting room, and I'll drag you in if you want. If you have any quick questions, here I can answer it. Oh my weapons. Okay, I need to. Uh, as soon as I beat this objective, I need to switch my guns. There's a lot of dudes here. Damn dog. Oh, there's an agility orb. Most important thing. Okay. Thank you, 109 people, for checking out Crackdown. What the hell? Yeah, kill everyone. Yeah, I, I, I've been reading a lot of comics lately, so I do appreciate this as a cartoonish comic book vibe. I'm into it. All right, we got Blow J Simpson. What up? It's the Simpsons. How's it going? Yo, Frank. Welcome. What's up? Uh, well, uh, I've been hearing you talk a lot about comics lately. It's, yeah. I've never, I've, I've always kind of been uh, indifferent about them. I always kind of felt like they, um, not comic specific, but like anything where it's like, it's just like, you know, manga included. Manga yeah, yeah. I, I, I throw that into the same bus, sure. Uh, where it's like, it doesn't have the, you know, it's not moving, so it's not, it doesn't have the kind of cinematography kind of movement that I see in a, in a movie. It doesn't have audio and all that. And then it doesn't leave everything to the imagination either. I always kind of felt like it was this medium spot that I couldn't really yeah, get into. Yeah, it, it could be the... I don't know. Like I don't know what you've read because I see... Uh, the, the comics I've been reading are shit. I think that there's fantastic cinematography. Like, I look when I read comics, I love it because... I love comics because of the stuff you that is implied between panels... You know, so I do think it does leave stuff up to the imagination. Again, it just could be completely different things that we're reading. Um, but it, I, there's just artists and writers I've found who are so fantastic with the medium. Um, but totally fair if, uh, you know, if, uh, but uh, yeah. Well, I, 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 I'm actually I, looking for it. Yeah. Uh, I, I've read manga where it is like that. Like um, I always felt like some of the stuff, you know, the, like the very best stuff makes you 
think. Like, it makes you forget that it's yeah. still in you kind of yeah. Moving. Uh, my my favorite kind of examples of that is like you'll have a pan you'll have pages where everything's broken into like three different panels and then you turn the page and it's boom a full two page spread that's like loud it yeah. just screams at you or the use of colors to pop you like I feel it like when you move on to the next panel that you feel that action uh, that's shit I love to experience um, but uh, yeah I I've mentioned this a lot but Preacher is my favorite comic um, that is Gar it's by Garth Ennis who. He hates superheroes, so that was kind of spawned as, like, his satire of superheroes. So I, if you're kind of sick of comic books or, you know, kind of have preconceived notions, I think that book really, really does an incredible job of just uh, telling a, a fantastic story fit for comic books. Uh, like, it's pretty gnarly, and they leave a lot of stuff to be implied in, like, the worst way. Like, there's serial, serial killer stuff in it, sex stuff. Like, it's really gnarly, but it's satirical. It's really funny. Um, and so you might dig that, and then... Um, the, the shit that really got me hooked in the comics is there's this team called uh, Brubaker and Phillips. They are on Image, and they write, like, 70s crime is, like, the vibe of their shit. They have a book called The Fade Out, which is about, like, a murder mystery in old-time Hollywood. So it, it's written, and it feels like a noir. Uh, there's Criminal, which is all, like, 70s Scorsese crime stories. Like, it's fucking awesome. And then there's Kill or Be Killed, which is their, like, vigilante hero book, which is... Really, uh, really gnarly. It deals with the devil, and that's cool. But uh, what's the name again? Um, Killer Be Killed is the last one I, rec I read. Uh, I recommended that one is awesome. Killer Be Killed, uh, awesome art style. It's about a college kid who decides to kill himself because he's kind of lonely. Like, uh, like I think he's still like a virgin, and just going dealing with very like apropos like mid twenty somethings college kid problems. He decides to kill himself. Uh, and then as he's falling down, the devil rescues him and makes a deal saying, hey, I'll save your life, but you have to kill someone each month to live. So all of a sudden, this kid becomes an unwilling vigilante uh, killer, and it's fucking rad. Like, that, it's awesome. It's so fucking cool. Check out Killer Be Killed. That's I loved it. Sick. Yeah, and that's sh a little bit short. I think it's only 24 issues. Preacher's fantastic, okay. but it's about, like, 60 issues. So maybe maybe work your way up. But, yeah, start with Killer Be Killed. It rules. Sure. Yeah. Um, another thing that... Uh... I love like something I love watching is like good video essays. That yeah. is, I don't feel like there's a ton of people who do it. Sure, sure. But they it just I'm I'm always like thinking this I've never seen a great one for comics, or maybe I'm just not Okay. Up. No, that's that's great to know, yeah. Interesting. Uh where it's like I uh, recently I saw a couple on like there was one on uh, Ocarina of Time that's like forty minutes. It feels like a movie. It's awesome. like, incredible. Uh and like even like for ones about, you know, just art someone mm -hmm. will just talk about like a figure or something for like yeah forever and it's super interesting never never seen one for comics if you have any recommendations no uh, but the the thing i always think about is like be this you know, i always think of this but like be the change you want to see so it's like if no one's done a great visual essay about comics then maybe i need to make one um my plan in the future is i'm going to interview my friend kenny who runs a comic book shop so I want to do like an hour interview with him where I just talk about comics and, and you know, because I'm new to comics and I love it. And, I, and he's someone who kept feeding me like Preacher and uh, Brubaker shit. And so like I want to sit down with him, chat with him about comics. Um, and then I had a film professor in college who was a genius, but he also was obsessed with, obsessed with comics. And uh, I like friended him on Facebook and he would post about comic books every day. But it was like so intelligent and like he was posting cool shit and that, that kind of fed it. And um, even myself, I've started tweeting about comic books more and more. But um, I haven't seen a good visual essay if anyone in the comments on YouTube wants a thing or, or drop a link on the Twitch chat. But uh, but that's something to keep in mind. I definitely want to do more content revolving comics because I just like promoting stuff I love. And so if, I, if that can get more people into it, then maybe. But um, yeah, I think just start, yeah, just, like just start like reading. Yeah. Sounds cool. Yeah. Well, uh... Yeah, thank you so much. If you end up checking out any comics, yeah, Killer Be Killed would be a cool one to start with. Uh, it's fucking rad. It's it's, it's just, like, because I had the same issue. I, I, I started a new comic called uh, Burnouts, which was on issue. It had a fun, goofy premise. It was about, like, an alien invades, like, a high school, and so these high school kids have to smoke weed to fight aliens. Like, it's the most, like, ridiculous plot. And I thought, oh, this sounds cool. I read a few issues, but I quickly realized it was written for, like, ninth graders. Like, it was written for a high school audience. So it was just like, oh, this just feels like I'm watching Rocket Power. Like, and so I got bored with it. Whereas most of the shit I read is Brew Baker and, like, it's 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 stuff that's meant, I feel like, for people in their 20s. Like, you know, it's still very juvenile and fun, but it's a quote-unquote adult, you know? So I think that's just what it, and that's the thing, I don't really read, like, 
giant superhero stuff. I read like I don't know, a thoughtful adult comics. I'm reading a book right now, Batman uh, White Knight, which is awesome. That's a if you like Batman, dude. I'm I'm like halfway through this. I'm gonna finish it soon. Batman White Knight. The pre premise is uh is a uh, basically they basically took this decade and, and made it and it made a, a dark night you know story out of it it's dealing with like uh police brutality it's dealing with like trump and politics basically the premise is joker runs as a politician and basically changes it so batman's the villain and joker's the hero it's like does grassroots campaign stuff like similar to like trump or bernie sanders it, it ha deals with like social justice wars and stuff like that like it, it really is like such a great comic of the now that deals with batman in such a great postmodern way it's really fucking sharp uh it's really good uh and i'm and the, it's it's written and uh, illustrated by this dude named sean murphy and i think as i find artists uh who are both the artist and the writer are able to visually communicate so strongly uh that it, it's such a dense and awesome book i really really like it um so batman uh white knight it's eight issues it's it's collected in a trade i'm loving it uh, I'll probably tweet about it soon once I finish reading it, but that's a great book. That's uh, It feels very contemporary, and the visual storytelling in there is awesome, so check check that out, too, if you are if you want. Uh, you can buy it at your shop, uh, order it online, or just, you know, find it digitally, whatever you do, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good shit, man. I love comics. Cool. Uh, were you dropping frames in the stream, or was it just the game? Um, could be a combination of both. Maybe it's the game. The game bear doesn't hit a consistent 60 frames on the Xbox One X. Like, this is a janky, weird game. But, uh, again, that's why I keep saying this feels like an Xbox 360 game. So, if you have your ex expectations super low, then damn it, yeah, you're going to have a good time. Cool. Boom. All right, thanks so much for uh, calling in. And, yeah, if, you, if uh, what's your name in the chat? Uh, blue, oh, in the chat, I'm full torch. Full, full, full board, full tour. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll full torch. Okay, cool. Yeah, feel free to keep me posted if you end up checking out any comics. Thanks okay. so much for uh, calling in. Appreciate it. Peace. Thank you. Cool. All right, we have another person waiting on deck. I'm gonna get to them in a second. I'm gonna, I need to drink some water. Uh, someone in the chat mentioned that Preacher is a great gateway into the uh, classic UK comics. Um, oh yeah, Ennis wrote for uh, Judge Judge Dread. Um, hell yeah. I want to read Transmetropolitan because Garth Ennis talks about how Warren Ellis is a huge influence. So I want to get to Transmetropolitan. I've read some Alan Moore. I love it. Like, there's there's so much to, to check out in the world of comics. Yeah, image stuff is fantastic. Legalized Ranch is saying Crackdown runs well on PC. That's good to hear. I'm having fun, 106 viewers. Hopefully people are enjoying the show. All right, we're going to bring in... Welcome, Calgi. How's it going? Hey, Frank. How's it going? Great. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Are you from Calgary, Canada? Um, no, I'm not. All I'm right. From London, England. London. Hell yeah. What's up? Yeah, good man. Invasion of the Brits for your show tonight. Fuck yeah, I'm into it. Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't want to really change the subject. I know you guys are having a good comic Hell conversation. Hell yeah. But, uh, I was thinking of. I wanted to ask you this question mm -hmm. about. Um, Motivation and um, to do with creativity. Okay, so, perfect. Like, like writing, like yeah. what do you do that um, helps motivate you when you're, you know, maybe stuck in a rut or you're trying to think of ideas? Yeah. Or, you know, so. Stuff like um, kind of. I, I just, it's just, I always just communicate with what what's in my uh, world. Um, one of my favorite comic writers, Ed Brubaker, I love it. At the end of every issue, uh, he kind of has a Q and A section where writers can email him and he he's my favorite comics writer uh and so people are always asking him the same questions so his his weekly his monthly like advice column in the back deals with this so i'm just gonna crib something that he said um he talked about uh he worked on uh nicholas reffin's new amazon series uh too old to die young which comes out pretty soon on amazon uh but it was like an 18 month shoot so they're working on it for a year and a half so by the end of it he was burned out done like he was like he needed a fucking break he was burned out and you know this is a bad place to be if you're a writer professionally you need ideas so he just took a break and what he meant by that is he started um like surfing and just taking taking some time, like a little, almost like a little time off to reset his routine. He talked about like, 
Um, nowadays, we're all so busy multitasking, and he kind of wanted to just refresh and calm his mind. So, like, he would leave his phone in the other room, stop checking it so much, read a book. Uh, he would go out and, like, surf, and when he's in the water, just body surf and, and flow along the waves and kind of being connected with nature, just filling his head up with ideas. And I used to experience that a lot, too. When I first was making stuff, I was so excited just to constantly make stuff, and then I would hit burnout and then get depressed. And then now I realized, uh, as I'm much older, just living life recharges you, too. Uh, like, I don't know, like, I went to the zoo with my girlfriend, and just being at the zoo, like, that's an experience yourself. All of a sudden, I could probably write so many ideas with animals or whatever. Just sh switching up the things you're, you're, you're ingesting. So maybe watch, like, a documentary about a subject you've never heard about before. Read a book. Go for a walk. I, I've been starting to go for a walk more. I used to go to the gym and check my phone, which I still do. But now I'm just straight up going for a walk, and I feel like it's a different motion um trevor moore from why does kids you know talks about he does left brain activities so he'll, he'll he'll get his ideas when he's driving when he's surfing when he's walking when he's in the shower uh just kind of shifting what you're doing will kind of help you look at things from a different perspective and also uh refresh yourself and then also like just the way i communicate is so uh, i i'm always citing like my inspirations so i mentioned like why does kids you know this comic book writer look at the people you admire and look up to and like seek their advice. I, I will always look for Q and A's, interviews. Like I follow people on Twitter and if they share writing advice or a podcast, I'll listen to it and they're always asked this. Um, my favorite uh, like person who gives advice is uh, Dan Harmon has a podcast. He you know he has Harmontown, but he also has a, a writer's podcast called uh, Writing Wrongs. Or no, Whiting Wongs. Uh, it's an Asian pun because he hosts it with a Asian uh, writer. But uh, the thing he talks about the most is, and this is something I tell my students is, um, it doesn't have to, something doesn't have to be good, it just has to exist. And what he means by that is, uh, like as humans, we're such perfectionists, you know, we want everything to be perfect right away. And especially if you're a writer, you know what you want, or you or maybe you don't, but you, you know, you want it to be good. And so if you see something that sucks, it's gonna get you frustrated and you're gonna disengage. Dan Harmon says like, don't think about that shit, just write it out. Know that it's gonna suck the first time out, just get it out, put it down. And then take a break from it and then look at it and start making it look better. Um, uh, and so those are things yeah, I, I yeah I find a lot. Yeah, I like that. My my friend um, had a similar sentiment. He said, um, you know, you're the only person that can really tell your story. Yeah, it's in, it's in your head, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to at least put it down somewhere on paper, yeah. physically, or write it down so it's actually there. It might not be the you know the greatest thing ever, but at least it's it's existing. Yeah. Uh, I was paying attention to the objective for a second. I need to hack the prison door. So I, 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 I've said this several times throughout the stream, but I use Crackdown as like my B game. I'm listening to podcasts as I play this game. So again, maybe a left brain activity. Uh, I, I need to fucking find out where I need to go. Okay, there's there's skull, skulls up there. I've not been playing this game correctly. Um, but yeah, what, what is like the medium that you're trying to write or what, what is it the thing that you're trying to do? Well, um, I work in I work in visual effects for films. Oh, it? awesome. It gets, um, yeah, it, it's fun, but it gets a bit... Um... You know, it, in this industry, it's very much, you know, there's not much space for creativity when you're working, you know, on these big things. Sure. So I'm kind of forcing myself to kind of do my own thing. And, and um, so mainly like screenplays. Awesome. Things, or... Very cool. Another piece of advice, too, is uh, this was something that like Paul Thomas Anderson talked about. Like he had a he had a writing class and he ended up hating it. But I thought this was a good exercise is like try to write one page, like write a one page scene, you know, like. Yeah, so I think like, take, and that's another philosophy is just take things one step at a time. But like, say if you have this idea, and I imagine a screenplay is such an intimidating block. So like, what I did is, I still oh, I've written one feature length screenplay, uh, but I didn't start there. I started out making YouTube videos. Even more before there was Instagram stories, I started making six minute like pun videos on YouTube. So whether you want to do comic comedy or drama or whatever. Uh, start by making things that are small and short. Get really good at that. That way, when you need to write something bigger, it's much easier. Um, my friend, who's a comedy writer, talks about like writing comedy screenplays. Treat every scene as like a sketch, so that way you're focusing on just writing that one sketch. You write ten sketches, and then boom, you have your whole movie. You know, uh, so there's little things like that breaking it down. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Um... Yes, yeah, so I just want to ask one other thing. How you, um, how are you finding Apex Legends still? Are you still playing? Yeah, I played. Uh, so I'm, the opening weekend. Oh, God damn it! I'm not focusing on the objective. Hold on. Give me. Oh, I need to hack the door. Where the fuck is the door? Sorry. Give me one second. Am I, oh, am I just supposed to jump over this? I was so intimidated by this. Um, 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Apex Legends is great. Uh, yeah, I played. I, pri I primarily play it on PC with all my PC gamer friends because they're like phenomenal at that shit, so they kind of carry me, uh, which is great. Uh, but then I started playing on PS4 with like Brian and Eric Bedour and Garrett, and uh, it's good. It, it it it's 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 awesome, and it is like the skill the skill ceiling for those games are so high that you can definitely get like worked on those games. But when you're playing with your friends and competing as a team, it's still really fun. I like that the combat kind of feels like Halo 2, like. That's just the vibe. Mm. Like that, the game gives me a Halo vibe. Like I know it's Titanfall Two, Modern Warfare developers, all that. But like for whatever reason, that's what the game reminds me of. Maybe it's because when I played Halo Two, I wasn't very good. So maybe just the just the joy of picking up loot and running through the like, Blood Gulch Canyon is, is what it's reminding me of. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying yeah. it. I think the movement kind of lends itself to it's very Halo. -ish. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, it feels like kind of the perfect medium between all of these battle royale games for me. Like. Um, like Fortnite was a bit too um, young for me, Absolutely. like, and like, um, and then yet PUBG was a bit too serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it strikes this middle ground where it's fun, arcadey, but it's not complete like candy kid shit. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Yeah. And um, yeah, before I, I just thought I'd say um, recommend one other uh, British comedy show Fuck you yeah. might know about, um, for Alan Partridge. Or um, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Yeah, I've seen. I haven't watched all of Garth Place. I've seen like three episodes of Dark Place, and it's great. And like, I'm a huge Stephen King fan, so I definitely dig that. And I want. I, I need to finish it. What was the other show? Alan Partridge. What What is that? Alan Partridge is a Steve Coogan show. It started okay. off as um, originally it's a radio show, and then it, it kind of his characters just kind of evolved. Oh, okay. And that is, there's a new series coming out um, in a couple of weeks, I believe. All right. Um, but yeah, it was a classic show on BBC just about a hapless radio DJ who doesn't really know that he's a bit sad basically oh that's but, perfect <laughs> that sounds great the good show yeah, so yeah, yeah man there, there's so much shit uh, there's another show I wanted to see called Toast of London which is oh Toast is great yeah I've heard that show is excellent I, what, I forget yeah man lots of good shit well if, if, most, if mostly British people are calling in and hanging out every week here then, then they'll encourage me right now Brian and I are going through we're, we're watching all of Kids in the Hall um because yeah. that's the other thing too when it comes back to writing is just study stuff so like yeah i watched kids in the hall when i was young and it'd be on like tv but i haven't like actually watched it as an adult and now when i watch it as an adult i'm thinking about how they're acting how they produced it how they wrote it like I, you kind of see the bigger picture so if you if you once got inspiration for something go back to the source what is it about it you like this is how i study media like if i find something i really like i really study it like okay why does this work so well Ooh, and then you can kind of you know I don't know, that, that's how I, I, I just, yeah, go, go back to the source. Um, yeah, I read a lot of, like, I'll go back and read, like, favorite screenplays for stuff and, and um, like, TV scripts. I like to read them. Yeah. Like, I like seeing it on that for, in that format. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. I just wanted to share some yes. breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, breaking news. Breaking uh, film Hollywood yes. news. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you just heard about no, it. No, no. <laughs> the Oscars have reversed their decision yep. to not air those awards. <laughs> So cinematography is back on. What what a what a colossal yeah. blunder this yeah. whole show has been. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like what a fucking mess. Wow. Anyway, I right. was just blown away. No, by there that. you go. Just there want you to share. So so now I bet tomorrow or whatever the next week will announce another change that no one's gonna be ha like. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. What holy a waste shit. of everyone's yep. energy. Yep. Yep. All right. That was the latest update. But, uh, yeah, and if you end up writing something or even do a, sh a short or whatever, you know, feel free to send it my way. I don't, like, I don't have time to check everything out, but uh, if, if, even if you get the chance to send me something just to signify that you've completed something, then that's fucking awesome. Um, and then, yeah. yeah, and then the other thing, too, is don't be afraid to be authentic. Don't be afraid to be specific. Really write what you know or at least write your approach on it. So whatever it is you want to do, like... Make it so that only you could have been the person to make it. Like, even when I stream games, I'm only streaming the shit I want to see. I'm, I'm talking about the stuff I want to see. Like, I'm playing Crackdown 3 on Xbox One, but I have Barney next to me. Uh, I am streaming anime music. I am talking about mental health, comic books, art films. Like, just be specific and uh, make the thing that you want to see. Make, make something that you would be a fan of. Yeah, for sure, man. Definitely. Cool. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Have a have a great evening if you're in the UK. Peace. See you later. See ya. All right. I'm gonna hang up on that. That was a pleasant pleasant call. I love British people. Thank you, Calgi. Hell yeah. If you wanna if you wanna hang out, pop in PPS Discord. Um, okay. I have not been paying attention to the game, but I've been chatting with friends, which is nice. 
Uh, just taking it easy. 99 viewers at the zoo today watching the Frank Howley specimen play a video game, his favorite activity. Um, am I done here? <laughs> I think I'm done here. Okay, guys, I've been driving, going fucking crazy. I need to switch my stupid ass frozen grenade. Um, but left brain activity, dude. This is a game I'm not thinking about. Rob74 says this will be on C. Thank you so much for subscribing, Rob. Feel free to pop in the Discord if you want to chat. They want to see this kind of stream, well then I'll, this is the kind of stream I want to make. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate everyone's comments too. Is that a new grenade? What the fuck is this? Is this a healing circle? I think so. What the fuck? Hell yeah, that was cool. Damn. I got achievement. I love achievements. Blow up five cars, alright. Something says they're left-handed, I'm left-handed too. Hell yeah. Get some ammo. Okay, I still want to switch my grenade. See that? Okay, this is what the problem is. I'll beat an objective, but I still stay in the area, because uh, enemies just keep coming. Um, and so I'm, mindless. I'm so mindless with this game. Alright. We got any homies? Calgi's still there. Alright, no one else in the chat. Totally cool. Alright. But again, people can ask questions here, or I could just chat while well, I play the game. Left hand squad. Yeah, I was, I was left handed. I was, it was never, never an issue. I feel like it wasn't a thing back in the old days, like, people used to correct that stuff. I don't know. Shit. I gotta figure out how to get up here. I need to change my gun. Oh, no. Oh, there's an energy orb down there, but... Alright, we didn't give up. We didn't get... I'm gonna say we didn't game up. We didn't give up. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, fuck. Persona non grata says, why is this game getting no hype? I think, uh... I think they, like, they didn't they didn't change the formula, which I'm not a problem with. It's just straight up another crackdown. I think just generally the player base on Xbox is super small, and people are very eager to, like, bash down Microsoft. Uh, like, I was so dismissive of them, too, but... Again, I love this as a showcase for Game Pass. Not a game I pay 60 bucks for, but it was included with Game Pass, so it's like, yeah, okay, I'm playing this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen I'm gonna play this game while I listen to podcasts. Uh, I love mindless open world games. Um, I think that's the split because there's some open world games like even like with with Far Cry or Assassin's Creed where they jam story shit in there. No, I just want to like kill people and run around. Like that's fun. Like that's why I played that's why I played Grand Theft Auto as a kid. All right, let's change my my, my weapons. Hell yeah. Jordan's asking any games you don't play of the format. Um, yeah, um, I think. I feel like strategy game, honestly, games where I have to think too much is probably, like, strategy games, puzzle games. I think I play games the opposite. I'm down to watch films where I'm challenged and I have to think. Video games, I don't want to think when I play, typically. I can handle, like, a good blockbuster experience like God of War, Resident Evil. But if you're exclusively puzzles, I'm, I'm just not, like, The Witness sounds cool. I don't know if I would ever play it. If people would want to watch me stream that as my, as I, as I like, look at a puzzle for 30 minutes, we could. Uh, maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. Maybe the last time I played a, a puzzle game was back when I was, like, a kid. So I'm probably more intelligent since then. But I don't know. I like blowing shit up. Wildlands. I need to play Wildlands. That would be fun. Hell yeah. Yeah, Just Cause 3. See, podcast games. That's the kind of shit I enjoy. That's what's up. How did you get into teaching? Um... Yeah, this, this was a uh, kind of crazy. Um, there was an organiz local organization that I was a huge fan of, and I just wanted to work for them no matter what. Uh, they put on film festivals, do video production, all that. I just wanted I wanted a video production job there, and they had an opening for their film teaching program, and so I took it, and that's how I got into it. And the program expanded as the longer I worked there, it's gotten bigger, which has helped me. It's also why I was able to move to San Diego. Um, but I just, uh, I wanted to work for an organization, so I bookmarked their jobs page, and I would check it, like, every month. There was an opening, I applied, and I got the job. Um, um, but even before I got this current job, I used to teach, I forgot, there was a year I taught, uh, like, 7 to 13-year-olds filmmaking, which is kind of a brutal job, like, I'm not good with little kids. High school kids I can handle, but little kids is, like, I... I, 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 that's difficult for me. Uh, but I did that job, and so I had that experience on my resume. So, and I was able to get that job teaching little kids out of film because I graduated from college. I had to, you know, whatever. Uh, and I'm very charming, so uh, I was able to get that job. But yeah, you, you work your way up to, to stuff. Um, okay, let me pick my guns real fast. Let's see. Yeah. 
Jordan Jones says he'd love to watch me play The Witness. All right, good to know. Homing rocket. Okay, I want to keep a rocket launcher for sure. Let me pick. Let me, let me see what guns I want. Conqueror. See, that's a badass pistol. Let's take a badass pistol. Excuse me. Um, Omni rifle. Let me see what I want. All right, we'll take the. Oh wait, we got the conqueror. We got the. Yeah, I like something about I like the shotgun. No fuck. See, I guess it really doesn't matter what guns I have. There's so many guns. This is the jacket. I want the rocket launcher though too. Homing rocket is cool. I got the conqueror and the omni rifle. No, I guess I want a machine gun. Let me see. Omni rifle, fire rate, bolt thrower. Yeah, that's his power. All right. Boom. Okay, let's do that. Thanks for bearing with me. I switched my guns. Yeah, I think it's always easy to teach kids, teach things kids get excited about. Absolutely. Like, yeah, I, I would not I would have the patience to teach kids, like, math. Filmmaking's cool. So it's like, I, you know, I, I feel like it makes my job easy. That's a great point. Um, do many of the students know about you from making sure? No, I kind of seek out, I, I, I feel like I, I teach, like, a different world of kids. Uh, thankfully, I, I feel like it'd be weird to teach someone who, like, would be a fan. I feel like, yeah. Um, so that's why whenever I approach it, I don't like, hi, I'm Frank from this. I, I, I kind of treat it as its own separate thing. And then halfway through the program, once kids get to know me, then I, I show them what I do. Uh, and then they're like, oh, this is cool. But I, I, I try, I, I try to separate that one when I'm in the classroom. Cause it's like, like, I, I don't, I like, I'm there to help them. I don't want them to see my stuff really. Um, but if they have questions, I'm, I'm, I'm open about that stuff. But yeah, that's why I also like, don't actively promote the thing I'm a part of when I'm streaming it because it's like oh I, I want like authentic kids I don't want I don't want kids to be first day exposed to this weird like I don't even know it's not nihilistic there's just this weird like sarcastic sense of humor I'm very genuine with them uh and supporting which is really cool which again why if you want to call in have, have a genuine question uh well there, that second or first caller had a question that was like beating around the bush or I don't know I don't know I didn't know what they want to ask but you can you can have a real question a real conversation um I didn't know what your question was about. You saw people looting something. We can talk about that. You want to talk about whatever. But, like, be, yeah, be genuine. All right. Let me see. All right. We got Hang'em Floppy. That's a good name. Hang, Hang'em Floppy's here. Your microphone's on mute, but I'll, I'll keep typing or chatting whether or not they're there. Welcome. All right. I've been distracted. I changed my guns. Now I'm going to go to vehicle lockup. Let's go here. If anyone else is there, I'll pick up. But in the meantime, I got this dude in the call. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to this vehicle lockup. Angham Floppy left. I'm going to bring him back in. Welcome, Kayan Sean. I am enjoying it. Um, it's a game that I think is great for Game Pass. I don't think it's a game that anyone should pay 60 bucks for. Um, but I really like Game Pass. I'm a huge fan of the original. I'm nostalgic for the original, so I like it. If you never played a Crackdown game, then uh, then this would be a rough uh, first taste because even the Saints Row games are, are significantly better. But uh, it's fun to play something very mindless um, like this. Like, it's so bare bones, but I kind of don't mind because it's a very mindless game. But yeah, so I'm enjoying it. All right. Hang'em Floppy is in the house. Welcome, Hang'em Floppy. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? Welcome. Not bad. Um, sorry, I'm on mobile, so... No, totally audio. cool. Thank you for taking the extra effort. You shouldn't apologize. That's another you know, lesson. Never apologize. Uh, thank you, sir, for uh, taking the effort. Look, at you put in more work than I did. I just had to sit here on my computer click it. You're on mobile. I know how crazy that is. So thank you for taking the effort to call in on mobile. I really appreciate that. Um, that was another thing, too. I used to work at a movie theater, and uh, I, I would tell people, like... Don't say sorry, blah, blah, blah. Say thank you for your patience. A little, uh, you know, little, little, little positive language there, you know? So, welcome. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, hey, man, I got a quick question for you. Yes. What is a game or game series that you would love to see ported to the Switch? Ported to the Switch? Um, 
Yeah, let's like see. Like something new that would, would drive and like a portable... You know, yeah, portable. it's funny because I, I honestly just don't play Switch much because when I, when I play games, I play them differently. But yeah, let me see. Something I would want on Switch. I mean, I love what Nintendo's already doing, just bringing games that no one... I Like, I slept on a lot of games on Wii U just because the Wii U wasn't a great console. So, like, I, I, if they bring Wonderful 101 to the Switch, like, a lot of games that people missed out on. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. The, the oh, uh, Direct the other day yeah. announced the Mario Maker 2, and I'm really stoked for that because I, I didn't get to play the Yeah, game. same thing. I didn't play it even... Oh, my God, I'm so bad at this game. I see these things here. Oh, I need to follow these blue orbs. Okay. Sorry, I'm playing Crackdown 3 while I'm chatting. Uh, let me see. Let me, oh, okay, I'm just to follow this. All right, well, I'm teaching myself with this. Um, yeah, um, someone said Halo 3. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I'm just in favor of everything being ported to Switch because that just makes it more accessibility. There's nothing I personally need. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's just port 3DS shit and Wii U shit. Games that just no one played before. Like, I love that they're doing a remake of Link's Awakening. I played a little bit of it on Game Boy, but, like, boom, now I got this new badass version. Um, I feel like when stuff gets ported to the Switch, they throw on bells and whistles. They really, like, sweeten it, too. So, yeah, just fucking put put everything on Switch. But there's nothing I need on Switch, but uh, I'm happy that it, I'm happy that it's there. Uh, but I primarily play games on my PS4 or PC. Um, Switch is great, but I, I, I'm just... Uh, I don't tr I don't travel as much, uh, and as a kid I loved yeah. I loved my Game Boy because my mom was always driving or something like that. But now as an adult, it's like I don't that need isn't there as much anymore. But uh, yeah, what uh, what are what are you itching for on Switch? Um, honestly, uh, pretty much anything, dude. Like, fuck yeah. I I have, two, I have a two year old, so I don't get to like play games at home as yeah, much yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. So anything portable. That, like, okay, I can see that. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I was looking on the eShop earlier today, and I saw they had like a 2K um, all going on. That's great. And I was just thinking, man, I, I haven't played the Bioshock games. Oh, wait, is Bioshock on Switch? No, I was thinking oh, I'd Oh, wow. Because I feel like they would be able to port Bioshock 1 to Switch at some point. Because that's like yeah. one of the best games of that decade. Uh, even though I was late to it, it's still like, yep, that, that game holds up. It's really fucking cool. In terms of a cinematic, oh, yeah. like, story driven first person shooter, that game rules. Yeah. It's one of those games I can play over and over and over again. Yeah. Um, if they're able to bring Metroid Prime Trilogy to the Switch, I th which I think they are. I feel like I thought they announced that. Maybe they oh, didn't. Yeah. But that... yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Fuck! I didn't. No! Oh, I accidentally picked up the Cryo Grenade. The Cryo Grenade sucks. Okay, if you ever play Crackdown 3, ignore the Cryo Grenade. It sucks. Damn it. I don't want to freeze people. I want to blow people up. Freezing people is so stupid. Anyway, that's my opinion. That's my strong opinions. But uh, hell yeah. What, uh, what games have you been playing? Um, right now I'm playing, uh, The Fractured But Whole. Okay, uh, that's on Switch too, yeah. I played the first one, I really liked it. But I felt like, uh, I got my itch with that, like, I don't exactly. need to play another one. But I, I thought those games were cool, are you enjoying it? Yeah, you know, I played the first one when it first came out. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it for the time. But, like, I haven't played in a long time, so I was like, I'm gonna play it again. Cool. And, uh, yeah, it's good. Did I beat this thing? Okay. Other than that, um, just playing a few indie games as well. Very cool. Yeah, this game, I'm like so bad. When I clear an objective here, I'm like so oblivious to that fact. So I just keep staying in the area and blowing shit up continuously. Um, but I'm going to switch objectives. Okay, that's something I need to get better at. Very cool. All right, well, thank you so much for calling. Um, yeah, well, E3 is going to be in a few months. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in favor of more ports. I'm in favor of just remakes and remasters, ports of games that just many people didn't get to. Uh, so please yeah, bring all the exactly. Wii library over. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Exactly. Alright, thanks so much for calling. We'll talk to you later. For sure, man. Peace. Have a good one. Alright, I'm going to take a sip from my water. I'll pick up the next person. Sephiroth is here. It's a pleasure. Thanks everyone for watching, for chatting. Alright. Dark Lord Sephiroth is on is on Deafen. So maybe... They, maybe they, oh, welcome. Hey, what's going on, Frank? How's it going? Doing well. Hope you're having a great night. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah, I was curious about this game. It felt like it just snuck up, uh, stuck up on me because uh, I didn't know it was out. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah. I mean, so the the whole history with this game is they announced it in 2014, and it I think it probably even looked better in 2014 because I think they when they announced it they were touting like, oh, we're gonna have cloud based technology, you're gonna blow so much shit up. Uh, and now that it's yeah. here, it's it's just Crackdown One. They didn't really tweak anything. Uh, you know, and that's totally fine. I love Crackdown One, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, not a big title, but 
uh, a great way for them to get a game pass on to people's consoles. Yeah, for sure. I just checked Twitch. I think you're the number two Crackdown 3 streamer. Really? Are you fucking sad? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Holy shit. I, I can't believe it. Maybe I can't believe it because no one cares about this game. I didn't know I'd be number one, number two on Twitch for a game. Holy shit. Yeah. That's crazy. One, so hopefully we can get it up there. And so that's why there have been so many genuine people coming in and being like, hello, streamer. How is this game? And hey, that's great. I'm here to chat about that. Wow. Yeah. So that's interesting. I've never really done a, a new game on day one, but because it's Game Pass, like I'm able to stream this shit for free, basically. Like that's really cool that we're number two on Twitch. That's what, a, what an incredible achievement. If someone wants to screenshot that, that'll make my day. We all did it. Everyone, all the gamers in the chat, I died. That's fine. Feel free to say hello. You're all part of the number one Crackdown stream on Twitch. Oh yeah, Anthem came out today too, which I'm sure most people are playing. Uh, but hell yeah, we're here on Crackdown level, baby. Very cool. That's awesome to hear. You made my day with that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Wow. Uh, yeah, I just want to ask. Um, you know, I've got like a full time job recently. And yeah. I have a lot less time now to like play games. Um, I was curious, like, uh, and I know for you, you know, your year's been pretty busy too. Yeah. Um, have you had to like make any sacrifices to like do the things you used to do? Yeah. Like, so doing it, like, so games and stuff? last year I was exceptionally busy because I, I was, I, I just moved to San Diego. So I was just figuring out my routine for the whole year. And now I feel like I'm in a pretty good routine. Um, and like, it, it's a balance. I, I, I try to balance like personal life, self care. Uh, which includes like going to the gym, exercise with like work, uh, and then my own like artistic stuff I want to do, and then uh, media consumption, which is such a big part of what I do and a part of my work. Um, but like, I was very stressed because last year it took me a year to beat Persona, uh, and I was just doing so much shit. But now I've like changed the game, and now it's like, oh, I can use my Friday stream. I I'm basically just bundling. So okay, now I use Fridays to also play games in my backlog. So that's that's squishing two things into one. Um, I go to the gym, but when I'm at yeah. the gym, that's when I check my phone. That's when I check social media. Uh, I, when I, I, I was stressed I didn't have enough time to w listen to podcasts. Now I'm trying to walk more and listen to podcasts. So that's exercise. So I'm just bundling a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I use a planner to uh, plan out my week, and that way I, I make time. I make time for everything. I'm definitely sacrifice stuff. I don't hang out with like. I, I don't get to see my friends often. Uh, I don't really see or speak to my family often. So there's like, there's like sacrifices I make, which, you know, sucks. I wish I had more time in general, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to make time for things. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there, there is no way to win. I feel like it's just, you have to come to, yeah. come to terms with stuff. Uh, someone's asking what could I use? I use a physical planner. Um, uh, I do it, uh, Sunday through Saturday cause I actually fucked up and bought the wrong one, but it works for me. Uh, but yeah, I... Sundays is when I like will look at my planner and plan the week. I'll uh, I do the podcast, but I try to like watch a movie or finish something on Sunday, like a game or a book or read. I make time for media Sunday. Monday I come in, I do work. Uh, Tuesdays work stuff. Uh, Wednesday is typically like self care or errands days. Thursdays more work. Friday right now is kind of work. I do emails in the morning. I exercise. Saturday is like my day where it's just like I don't do anything work related. So I give myself one day off, uh, but then the rest yeah. of the week is kind of catching up to shit. But uh, I think it's building a routine, and um, I think the other thing I learned last year is it's okay. Uh, I, oh, I love the rainbows. This is fucking cool. Uh, I, I learned it's okay. I would uh, get I, I would get so depressed. I, I would get depressed every single time I'd be tired because there was so much I wanted to do, and I would make my to-do list too big. Uh, and so when I would go to sleep, I'd be depressed, like depressed and angry that I didn't have enough time for everything. And then I just realized, like, wait a minute, like, yeah. I'm just trying to do too much. So coming to terms with that, like, oh, I need to slow down. Um, but yeah, it's just something that, like, really, I wish I was a robot so I didn't have to sleep. I wish, you know, but it's just coming to terms <laughs> yeah, and just, and, and I really do think having the planner, I'm able to make t t plans for things because I do know I will accomplish things. And it's just being more real real realistic with your expectations. Uh, that's why it's like, yeah, I'm not going to play Red Dead Redemption 2 anytime soon because that's that that's just going to be too much time put into that. I can handle God of War or streaming like small indie games or whatever, but like I'm not going to dedicate my life. I fucked this up. I'm not going to dedicate my life to a 100 hour game because I'll, you know. So it's just planning stuff out. And I can't imagine having a kid. That must be so, so difficult. Like I right now kind of have the luxury of not having a kid, but there's the trade off of having a kid brings you this. I think like a lot of people I follow discuss like when you have a kid, it gives you such a boost to responsibility and like a will to live. Like you're now living for this greater purpose, um, and I think that's really incredible. And you're building something phenomenal. And so you know, again, thank you for not only having 
calling in mobile, but also, you know, uh, having a child is such a tremendous thing. So don't beat yourself up if you don't have time to play video games because you're, you know, working on something spectacular. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's just trying to figure it out, which is something I'm trying to do endlessly. Um, but yeah, ma having a planner helps. Yeah, that's great advice. I just started using like a Google Calendar to like, keep up with stuff. Fuck yeah, that's perfect. And, um, I like what you said about managing expectations because yes. I used to like have to or want to beat everything 100%. Yeah, that's I something realized, I oh, don't do either. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah I was just like, you know what? I, I don't need to finish Guacamelee or Messenger. Yeah, yeah. I, I had fun. I yep. don't need to finish it. Yeah. And that's something like, again, tying back to Game Pass, Forza Horizon 4. Awesome. Dude, I probably put 10 hours into that. I'd like to play more. If I don't ever play more Forza, hey, I had 10 hours of bliss. You know, I do want to go back to it, but it's just like, it's being okay with it. Uh, when I cleared Resident Evil, yeah. I did uh, Leon A, Claire B. That was awesome. Am I going to get to Claire B, Leon A? I don't know. But I had a blast with what I did, you know? So I think that's the thing, too. It's just like, yeah, as a kid, I used to 100% stuff. I, you know, I had to stop playing Final Fantasy 14 years ago because I didn't have time for an MMO, and that's okay. Um, but in the summer, I'm going to make time for WoW. But yeah, that, that's the thing, too. I'll have conversations with friends, and it's like, yeah, it takes me a long time to beat video games because video games are just one of the many things I do. Like, I'm reading books, reading comics, watching films, watching TV. You know, it's just uh, I make time for everything, and I kind of chip away at it uh, one, at, one at a time. Yeah, uh, thanks for taking my call, and I uh, hope you have a good night, man. Thank you so much for calling. Appreciate it. Good luck with everything. Pleasure. And then, yeah, uh, yeah more games for Switch. All right, where am yeah, I going to go? Yeah, All right, thank you so much. Peace. See you. All right, I'm going to take I'm gonna, uh, take a bite of this apple. Tyler the Ninja's on deck. I'm going to take a bite of this apple and have some water. Recharge. Oh. I love apples. I love apples. God, I love apples. This is a good apple. Oh man. Mmm. Wow. I gotta be the healthiest person streaming Kraken, right? Eating an apple on stream? What can be more healthy than that? If I had a walking treadmill and I streamed from there, that would be cool. Or a stand-up disc. I have not tried Wrecking Zone. We will at some point. There's a Fuji apple. Oh man. Someone asked for Wrecking Zone. We can try that in a second. I got emulate, but kill the station guards first. Oh, this apple's so good. But yeah, Carl, we'll play Wrecking Zone after I be after I eat this apple and after I beat this metro station. We'll do all mine. We'll do it for Carl. Oh, you're such a good apple, though. Oh man. How big is the map? Uh, this is the size of the map. They definitely like smaller than Spider-Man. Not massive. Um, that's fine. I'm like probably not gonna put more than ten hours into this game. I already can beat the campaign in like six to eight hours. Okay, for a Game Pass game, totally fine. Oh man, I gotta eat more of this apple. How's the game? It's all right. It's cracked in. It feels exactly like a 2005 Xbox 360 game. If you love the original Crackdown, you'll like it. It doesn't do anything more. It's cracked in. Oh man, it's so hard to eat apples and play the game and stream at the same time. Oh man. I um, I pause, unpause when I finish this apple.
I've been streaming Crackdown for two and a half hours. That was my first Apple of the stream. I have not played No More, No One Lives Forever. I saw that they like remastered it, or a bunch of people got the game online and working, so you can download it for free. I want to play those in the future. That's why people did Fear and uh, that anime Shogo game. So I'll try it. I played it. I played it when it first came out. I'd love to stream that. All right, about three fourths through this apple, and we'll get back into. We'll get back into Crackdown. This is a great stream. All right, almost done with the apple. We're gonna speed run it. Big bites. Big love. We got Tan and Ninja here as I eat my apple. How's it going, Tylon? Hey, what's up, Frank? Welcome. Uh, this is new. I never called into Frank's arcade. I'm so used to calling into PPS. I know. New, new, uh, new, new feature. The patch, the patch, the show. Oh, uh, this is a good feature. Thank you. How's it going? Ah, uh, nothing much. Uh, just chilling at my home. Hell yeah. Uh, I guess I was. I guess I was originally going to type something in the chat, but since I realize you're doing Discord, I can ask you in person. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like that. I like that. So yeah, basically, uh, I, had, I had school today, and I had to give this uh, big speech slash presentation. Holy shit! Uh, okay, what, what class was it? It was uh, it was public speaking. Great! I had I had a class like that in college. I loved it. Yeah, and I I totally love it because I'm like I'm so used to speaking in large crowds, and I'm really comfortable speaking Fuck to yeah. a lot of people. That's great. But for some reason today, I was just like super nervous. Um, I don't know if it was just like out of nowhere I got nerves or just like just the just the feeling of passing was like overwhelming to me. But yeah, I was really nervous and that really affected my speech today. Oh, so I, OK. So I feel like I, I bombed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, other people say it was pretty good. But All right. I felt like in comparison to my last speech, it was pretty it was pretty poor in comparison to the last. Yeah. Speech. Were you already graded on it? Um. No, I mean, I have to write a self-reflection before I get oh, married. Oh, okay. Well, then that's that sounds great. So self-reflect and then discuss what you didn't like about it, and then it seems like you'll get a good grade on that. As long as you know where you messed up or feel like you messed up, I'm sure your professor or whatever will critique you. Hey, it wasn't it's, – it's probably not as bad as you expect it. You're your own worst critic. So if you're already conscious of the places you flubbed or whatever, your nerves, etc., then just reflect and, you know, you can think about how you did it next time, but don't beat yourself up about it. I dig that the class makes you do self-reflections because you're going to analyze it, and that's how you get better. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, uh, it's also cool because they let you record your own speech, and that's basically what I did immediately after was just awesome. watch it in my car. But it's like, and yeah, and I, I see all my mistakes, and I know the mistakes I made because I gave it, but it's just like, like, oh, man, this, that, this was really that's bad. That's good. How many, how many people were in the class that you had to speak in front of? Oh, uh, I think it was about, like, um, 15, maybe 20 people. Oh, okay. You're you're a great speaker because you're speaking in front of 88 viewers right now, and you're doing a great job. So, you know, that that was nothing compared to this. So you're you're, you're, you're a professional, Tylon. You're, you're doing a great job. Yeah, and like I said, I, mean, like, I, I honestly have no problem speaking in, in large yeah. crowds or in front of little people. I normally don't get stage fright, and it was kind of weird of me for like to feel stage fright for the first time in a while. Um, but yeah, I just yeah, no, just I guess I just want to ask like, how do you how do you usually deal when like you feel like you didn't give like a good performance in front of like either for a class? Yeah, or, I mean, I never. God, maybe I'm just like too selfish or too arrogant but i i never worry about that i think i've just gotten past that so long ago because i did drama and stuff in high school um but i can think of just like doing a show or doing a stream where i didn't feel like it was 100 percent. i'm never concerned with other i'm honestly never concerned with what other people are thinking because i'm i'm so just self-reflective already about what i can improve myself so i i think what it is is like i'm never worried what people are going to say about me because like i I wouldn't class myself as self-loathing, but I'm always very conscious of my shortcomings, and those are things I try to get comfortable with. So 
I think like, I'm just always focusing on the next. Okay, this is what works here. Let's do more of that. Or like after everything, like do more of what works, do less of what doesn't work. And I think that applies to everything. Just do, just keep doing what works and do less of what doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I never, I never think so far in the moment if something happens, like I think like, I also don't think like I'm so important that someone's gonna think about like a shortcoming I did like after the fact. So say if you had a speech and say if it was the worst thing ever, say if whatever, I don't know, something happened, like your pants fell down, whatever. Okay, that happened, move on, next time your pants won't fall down. Or you got an A plus, so now your pants are gonna fall down every time. I just like don't even think about that. So it's hard to give advice, but I think maybe it boils down to don't worry about it. Uh, you know what you need to do. I'm trying to get to this this fucking podcast tower up here. You know what you need to do, so next time, uh, just uh, just try and do it. I don't know if, if that's reading, if that makes sense, but yeah, that's just how I process it. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it is definitely a lot to think about. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I was, I was just thinking my, my last week, like, oh man, I really killed it with my last week. Hell this yeah. One, I felt like, well, yeah, you always want to pop your next week. Yeah. It's just like, oh, well, at, at least you know that you, you have it in you, that you did a great job with one performance, you know? So it's like, hell, you know, you know you're capable about it. So it's like, you know, and, and it's just like with basketball players, sometimes they have good games, sometimes they have bad games. Like, you know, like, you, you still have it in you, and so next time, you'll kill it next time. Fuck, I'm trying to get up here. I don't think I can. Someone, Dad Glasses in the chat says getting up here was difficult, so maybe I'm not alone. Maybe I just have to come back when I'm stronger. That's totally fine. Um, but yeah, uh... Someone in the chat also said, and this is something I, I thought about when I was in college. Someone said, like, everyone else is th so busy thinking about their presentation that they don't care about you. And that was something I already knew, like, when I was in college doing speeches. Like, yeah, no one's listening to you right now because they're so stressed about what they're going to say during theirs. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I uh, I just don't worry. I'm just, yeah, very focused on myself and what I can do. I, I think what it is, too, is I, I'm worried about what I can control myself. So if something's out of my control, I just don't worry about it because it's, like, I don't like to waste that kind of mental energy. Um, so yeah, I don't know, you, you did an assignment, uh, you know, you'll, maybe it'll go better next time, it probably will go better next time. Uh, I'm proud of you, Tylon, you did it, so, I, you know, you, A plus from me. Oh, well, if you, if you think you can do better, then I'll say A minus, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> that was another thing, too, I had a professor who said, like, she, they never gave, like, A's or A pluses, they would give, like, A minuses, because, like, there's always room for improvement, or something, something like that. They, they, you would still get an A in the class, but that, that was, like, their mentality, it was like, oh yeah, hell yeah, I, I. They would always grade you kind of at like a, a perspective of like, oh, if, if I know this person can write really well, like I'm gonna be a little bit harder on them. I don't know. I, I thought they kind of graded the scale, which was cool. I, I don't. I don't know. It's uh, it's important to have like good mentors or teachers or professors or whatever people who can call you out uh, if you're of, of something if you're not already conscious of. Um, so yeah, it seems like you're conscious of everything. So you're doing a good job. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. As always, appreciate all you do. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Peace. Oh. Say you like to. Diddlebit says no Metro Exodus. Uh, I haven't played Metro 2033 yet. I beat Last Light, so I want to play 2033 first. 2033 is included with Xbox Game Pass. Um, I am Russian too, and so I want to play those games. I played the, when I played Last Light. I played it in Russia, Russian. So uh, yeah, I'll do 2033 first before I do Exodus. Uh, so that's why I haven't played it yet. Um, yeah, that's why. Okay. All right, where the fuck I need to disengage, disconnect this, okay. I did say I would do multiplayer, but it's so hard to like stop, disengage, like the flow of this game is just like you're just constantly doing more. And even though it's, if it's all the same, I still really enjoy like it. So right now I'm engaged with this, I'm trying to just take out this force field. I'm assuming I have to follow this blue light, right? So where the hell does this light go to? Maybe at the very top. Thank you, Tom Ninja. How are you finding this game so far? So I loved the first one. It is exactly like the first one. Uh, but what that means is it feels like a 2006 Xbox 360 game. Uh, I don't have a problem with that because I play retro games all the time. Uh, if you've never played Crackdown, uh, if you have Game Pass, download it. I would not pay 60 bucks for it. I would not pay 40 bucks for it if you weren't a fan of Crackdown. If you're a fan of Crackdown, 40 bucks, eh, whatever. Uh, but yeah. Because um, like Saints Row's better, Spider-Man's better. Like, there's a dozen open world games that are that are better, but Crackdown was important because for its time, it really was one of the first like big open goofy games. Saints Row two, three, four, did, you know, did better. Um, but uh, if you want something simple, if you want a game to zone out while you listen to podcasts or talk with your online friends, then play this. But get it through Game Pass. Do not 
like that's that, again that's why I wanted like that's why I love Game Pass because it lets you just play shit like the equivalent of renting a game. I used to rent games all the time for weekends, uh, and this is a great like weekend rental game. So that's how I that's how I feel about it. Um, Stalker would be cool. I have seen the Tarkovsky film. Yeah, I've seen yeah I've seen Stalker. I've seen Solaris. Um, Lots of things, lots of games to play. I can only play one game at a time. But well, that's why I like streaming, because I can play all this stuff in front of an audience and we can talk about it. Hell yeah. Does Game Pass work with PC? No. So it's just for Microsoft shit on Xbox. Uh, EA has their own. They have EA Origin, which does work for PC. I'm supposed to disengage, deactivate something here. Am I still doing the same objective? I think I am. Oh, maybe I... Oh my god. How the fuck do I disable this? I got the right one down. Okay, now I got this one. Um, did I completely miss it? Sorry, I got distracted. Um, but yeah, this is a Game Pass game. The EA thing is only for PC, and that's just with the EA shit, but that's why I played Battlefield. Oh, I did half of the objective. Oh, whatever. All right, now I can disengage this. Oh. Hell yeah. All right. There's also the infamous games, which are really good. Like, yeah. All right, I'm gonna see if there's anyone else in the Discord. Nope, empty Discord, totally cool. Boom. Um, someone says, they said their friends had Game Pass for PC. Um, I think I think it's just console only, but like the thing is if you buy Sea of Thieves, no, Sea of Thieves had a trial, that had a free trial for like a month or a weekend or whatever. Um, and that's its own thing. Like there was a straight up trial for Sea of Thieves where friends, if they played it on Game Pass, could invite their friends to play. Um, yeah. Because if Game Pass works for PC, then it's like, I'd, that'd be incredible. Uh, but I think the Microsoft Game Pass is just on Xbox. But but Xbox exclusives work for uh, both consoles. So maybe, I haven't tried it, maybe if you activate like a Game Pass, a Microsoft first party game on Game Pass, maybe you can install it on PC too. Because that'd be awesome, but I don't know. Yeah. Angel Wisdom says it works for PC. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm going to look into this. Game Pass, PC. Game Pass is on PC, really? Really, hold on. That shit really, hold on. Really, hold on, I'm looking into this. Let me see. Oh, really? Select the Xbox Game Pass. Ah, uh, okay. So, any games that are available for PC will also work. Oh, that's fucking incredible. So I think it's just all first party Microsoft. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy crap. Thank you so much for clearing it up. Boom. Let me take a look. Oh my god, my copy and paste is fucked up. So yeah, you guys are right. So any any like first party shit, if you have Game Pass, will work on Microsoft. So these are all the first party Microsoft games. Forza Horizon 4 is good. I haven't played Gear of the War 4 yet, but that's supposed to be good. Recore, I played a little bit of. Um Deck did not paste cleanly. State of Decay 2, whatever. But they're very cool. Alright. Who's that? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, I'm glad to know that works. Damn, that makes the service even better. Um, but there's you get so much more on here if you're playing it on console. But, yeah, it's two bucks to sign up. So if you want to play this... Um, yeah, Killer Instinct would be cool. I would love to play Killer Instinct with a fight stick. Like, I got it for on an Xbox, and it's cool, but I don't like playing fighting games without a fight stick. Okay, should we try online? Let's, uh... We're gonna quit to menu, and we'll try online, because someone requested it. Real fast, I'm gonna take a pee break. Oh, that's... I fucking love that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. Taking a pee break. I will be back. Because I've been streaming for almost three hours. Taking a pee break. I'll be back. I'm going to hit some music. This is the pee break. I'll be back. Pee break.
Hey, thanks for telling me my microphone is muted. I said uh, I said a good pee break. Do any of you guys just pee? I did. It feels great. I love to pee. Um, let's try Wrecking Crew. It's their multiplayer. So I think that we're all caught up. That was pretty good. It just booted a separate thing. So maybe multiplayer is developed from a different studio. I think when you install it on PC, you can install Crackdown Campaign and Crackdown Multiplayer. So we're gonna try the multiplayer. Oh, after I pee, I, I feel so I feel cold because all the hot fluid left my body. Whew. Crackdown three multiplayer. Welcome Agent Frank Alley. How did, okay, ew. Where'd my other character go? Whoa. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's see what other male agents look like. God, the characters. All right, going back to the Sousa, hell yeah. See, like clearly it's the best one, right? All right. Customized agent. Oh no, there's different modes. I didn't, no, wait, hold on. I don't know what any of these are. I've never listened to the Yellow River Boys. I appreciate how specific that question is. No. Is that a band about P? That'd be cool. All right, there's Agent Hunter and Territories. This is message of the day. Launch is upon us. Welcome to the agency, everyone. Time to hashtag step up your boom. Get into the new providence. Start busting heads at Terran blah, blah, blah. Kick some bad guy butt. All right, let's do uh, Agent Hunter. Oh, okay, okay. That's great. Yeah, Tim Heidecker did an interview at Sundance uh, where he talked about piss. It was great. Hell yeah. Yeah, Tim Heidecker has produced so much music, I just haven't caught up with any of it. Uh, I don't plan on watching Alita. I love James Cameron. Oh, like, I even think, like, maybe I'll download it, but it's just, like, I, I don't know, like, there's just other shit I'd rather watch. Um, like, I'm happy. The best thing about Alita is James Cameron's using social media. Which is awesome, uh, but no, I, I I hate CGI action. Uh, it didn't get great reviews. It's uh, I'm not bummed. That it's just okay. All right, I just don't care about CGI action. Um, I love James Cameron though, but it just no one I know have said it's great. So I, I'm just there's other shit I want to watch. Okay, like I saw Arctic last night because that looks cool. Waiting for players. All right, you gotta pick your gun. Homing rocket. I don't know how any of this works, but someone asked to play this over shield. Sure, let's do a shield, homing rocket, and... Machine pistol and our rocket. Damn, there's like nothing with... Oh, God, these guns suck. Oh my God, these are shitty. Well, all right, let's try it. A fucking machine gun and a rocket launcher. All right, let's see how this works. Collect badges, drop and kill the enemies. Badges time after 10 seconds. First to watch 25 wins. So is this, uh, it's kill confirmed. All right, let's take a look at this. So this is, so the, the, the bit, the thing with it being online is uh, apparently it's supposed to have better physics for destruction. Let's see. Guys, we're number two on Crackdown for Twitch. What what an incredible achievement. We dropped down to 69 during my pee break, so maybe not. But for a moment, we were number two. Whew. Oh my god, the load times. But we're trying it out. People say I'm still number two. Fuck yeah. I'll take it. We don't have any other callers. If anyone wants to call in during the load screen, PPS Discord, hang out. Oops. We had some new people join. That's a pleasure. All right. Let's do this. Okay. What are all these orb? What the fuck is this? Why does this look so much different than the campaign?
What am I supposed to do? Where's our teammates? <laughs> Alright. Hell yeah! Rockets are sick, dude. You just home in there? This is so easy. Oh, easy. Do you need to collect their badge? Sick. I got a special, too. Where the hell is... Where's some people? I have a special. I don't know what that does. Oh, I was hoping my missiles would still get him. I guess they did. Dude, we're kicking ass. Hell yeah, dude. I'm a fucking gamer. Who shot me? This guy's trying to get revenge? Are you kidding me, dude? What's this cheater jumping around? He can't jump, dude. Who, who fucking jumps? This guy thinks he's jumper? Yes! And I got their badge, dude. Who's shooting me now? Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting into the game, guys. We're 8-2. to two. We're winning. Logan X2012. Logan X2012. This guy's a time travel. Tra time traveler. Gotta take him out. What the f- What is this? Alright. Oh, someone wants game audio. Shit. I can't pause during the thing. Oh my god. There we go. Is that good? Thanks for the heads up. You guys are helping me out. I appreciate it. Oh, I think this charges up your meter. Boom. Well, I can't find anybody. Did the rest of the team quit out? Oh, it's just three people. Great. We'll find them if we can. Oh! We get swarmed. I'm the top fragger. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Damn it! Hey, that was my first death. Alright, perfect. Feel renewed, regenerated. Yeah, this isn't something I would. I would never play the multiplayer. Uh, Crackdown for me is like, I just want to play the. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to get this stupid thing. I'm trying to play the open world stuff. Or, uh, yeah, I like the open world stuff, just doing like mindless objectives. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just like. This doesn't do anything for me. But again, this isn't. This wasn't like in the original Crackdown. I do think it's funny that like, I have a competitive multiplayer with just a lock-on. Like, it's super fucking easy. Oh, I gotta play some dubstep when you die. Oh, they wanna s you guys wanna see shit blow up. I don't wanna waste my ammo, though. I'm gonna blow up some... Oh, okay, I guess it blows up, but... That's like some red faction shit. That doesn't blow up. All right, I'm on the whole structure down now. Oh, come on, bro. Why am I not doing damage? 
to the battlefield. Check my score. I am still the top fragger, even though I just almost died. This reminds me of like an Unreal Tournament map. Alright, got Logan. I got an achievement. Oh, wait, never mind. This one. Fuck yeah. Kill an entire team in a single match. Alright, we got an achievement. Easy. Good. You're ready to go again. Number two, Crackdown streamer on Twitch. I'm gonna put that in my bio. I'm gonna put that in my tombstone. I stream. Actually, I do like Twitch streaming, and we archive all these streams on the Megas for Archive channel because this is documentary. Okay, like, I don't know, years from now, we'll be able to look back and you'll see what a, a person thought of Crackdown 3 at launch. I don't know, I just think it's, I think it's interesting. You're always gonna be able to see people's, like, launch day reactions uh, through, like, Twitch archives, which is interesting. I think it's a really fascinating medium, and uh, I love it. What do I want in my tombstone? Um, die in the year 2300. I want to live a long time. So that I would, if I could live to the year 2300, I'd be stoked. So put that, uh, Frank Halley, 1991 to the year 2300. See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking long term. I got a lot of games to play. Hopefully they spell everything right in my tombstone. I'd be embarrassed. Otherwise, like I don't think I'm gonna have any family behind uh, to like proofread that stuff, but. If, you know, but then you just get it advanced. I want my achievements and my PlayStation trophies and my letterbox all on there, and my Twitter, my Instagram. I want you. I want my tombstone to be an iPad. You can just come up and scroll through. Uh, that'd be really cool. Boom. All right. What the fuck? This game just lagged a bit. Sorry. Yes, we won. All me, baby. All me. I got the rare achievement. What the fuck? Got MVP. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Incredible. I'm I'm incredible. I'm incredible. Godlike. Godlike. Yeah, come party with me at my tombstone. Bury me with Sour Patch Kids. Alright, that was Agent Hunter. Let's try Territories. Got that rare achievement. Finding matches online, Crackdown 3. Finding matches, Crackdown 3. Is there any story in this? Uh, extremely, in terms of the single player, it's just same as the original Crackdowns. Uh, the city's overrun, blow shit up. Okay. Very, very minimal. Um, but I'm kind of happy they didn't shoehorn story stuff, because the original Crackdown didn't really have it. All right, I'm, I'm fine with the same guns. I think it's funny that you have homing rockets, okay? We got Fantastic Mars, Renoir, Ike Soaker Axed, Westway 2 Green, Iljux, Super Sniper, Milo Oswald, and Seadraw. Cool. Alrighty. Will I ever Apex again? In terms of streaming Apex? Maybe. Um, I had fun last week be streaming with Matt and Mega Moika. I'm playing that like off, ca off camera. It's a good game. Um, I don't even know if there's an online progression. I don't think so. I think you get achievements. I think that's how like Microsoft just half bakes their things into it, which is fine. But I'm never gonna play multiplayer after this. Single player, I'll play a little bit more. Okay, this level looks cool. Territories. Okay, this is King of the Hill. Great. Yeah, the game audio is not bad. Yeah, Forza is great. That's something I could stream. I love, I love Forza. Time flew. We did three hours of Crackdown. We talked to some people. 
that was fun. I'm down to do more calls in the future, so PBS Discord. I'll be down to take more calls if, if uh, no one else wants to chat, then no worries. But that's fun. I like getting to know people. Oh my god. Crackdown theory. Alright, holy shit. Take it to him. Where's the king of the hill? Alright, who wants to win this thing? Oh, this is domination. This is my shit. How the fuck do I get down there? Oh, this this whole zone is it. Okay. Oh, does this guy want to come? Nice going, agent. Now we have to defend. Wait, I guess I just have to defend it, right? So I don't have to actually. Do I get? How's this work? All right. Damn, my whole team got wiped out. You want to lose, agent? Better turn this match around. Do you just get points for holding it? Like, as long as I have A, I'm good. Holding A, I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. Alright, we're capturing B. I'm gonna keep defending this. Hell yeah. Oh, who's contesting? Who's trying to blow up my spot? That sucks. Well, they can't find me down here. Uh oh. Who's this stupid ass shield thing? Got him. Shooting agent. Excellent defense. Thank you. Oh, does this homie want to jump? We're destroying these people. Holy shit. Oh, you can punch walls. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. That exposed me. Where'd this guy go? New territory coming soon. Now we watch it all come down. Who's ready? Jesus for Christ, so much shit happened. New territory up for grabs. Alright, we got. There's a new territory. Who wants it more? I want it. I want it that way. Freak incident material. Memor memorial. Fuck! Oh my god, I'm stuck. I mean, we're clearly in the lead. I'm okay with that. Agent death. Ready to go again. Enemy team captured. No. No. Mm -hmm. I wanted this D zone. My little Oswald, what are you doing? What are they doing? Shit. Right. Yeah, I have triple jump. Okay, let the good times roll. Tick, tick, All right, boom. C's going away. We need D. Damn it. Hell yeah, get revenge. Territory claim. There's a new territory. Who wanted more? Triple jump. The agency gift shop, oh no. Now we watch it all come down. A new territory is coming. 
Reloading any time now, agents. Oh, we gotta get Milo Oswald. Homie, got him. No territory unlocked. Team's about to win, hell yeah. No, don't get your shield, look at my shield. Hell yeah. Oh, the Punisher logo shows up. To protect your turf, this would be an impressive PSP game. That's right. That was excellent. That's a win for Alpha. Damn, dude, we fucking win every game I'm in. I'm the best. I'm the best. I didn't get an achievement for that? What is this? Oh, I was looking at my gamer. I bet I have more gamer score than all these people. Yep. Look at that guy, that dog picture. Favorite game genre of all time, what would it be? Maybe third person shooter. Like Last of Us, Resident Evil, like post, like four. I mean, I, well, fuck, that's really hard. Cause I like extreme sports. I don't know. I, I can't limit to a genre, like everything. All right, well that was multiplayer. I never need to play that again. We'll jump back in the campaign for a bit. That was it, that was the game. Um, that was fun. That was the game. And then, yeah, you're back in Crackdown time. I like all the games. Oh, fuck, back in this. Well, whatever. All right, we checked out Crackdown. Um, I'm gonna do a race in Forza. How the fuck do I get out of here? Quit. All right, I'm gonna switch to Forza, because I really like Forza. I also got Skate 3, fuck. Okay. Uh, the UI still, like, irritates me in this. Yeah, they have it as, like, a separate game, Wrecking Zone. So you can straight up uninstall uh, Wrecking Zone. Alright. Let me take a look at... I'm going to switch the game on Twitch. We're going to change it to uh, Forza Horizon, because I love this game. Oh, I gotta switch something. Hold on. Alright, I need to pull up my internet. My Twitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Still loading. This looks great. Switching to Forza Horizon for a race for two or three. There's a Discord if you want to call in while we do some races in Forza. I'm gonna change the game to Forza Horizon. Frank's Arcade, we're doing Forza, Horizon 4. Yeah, I'll do a few, few, few races and a few calls before I switch out. I love this game. This game is pretty. All right. If anyone wants to call in, you can jump into the PPS Discord. Someone's calling me directly. Uh, Dad glasses <clears throat> pop into the waiting room. Alright. Play some Forza. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I was going to say, you have to load. We should be okay. F for Forza. Yeah, that was Crackdown 3. I'll probably play a little bit more tomorrow and listen to podcasts. Um, not great. Not bad. It's exactly Crackdown. Um... Microsoft must be happy that's done. They're done with it because that was like, I feel like it was pretty embarrassing for a while just how long the game got, got delayed. Now they can just give out Crackdown for free with Game Pass and market Game Pass. They're using it to market Game Pass. I think that's fine. Um, yeah, I feel bad if anyone paid sixty dollars for it. But follow Cheap Ass Gamer and you find out when it goes on sale. But just get Game Pass because you don't need to own Crackdown Three. Have it Game Pass digitally if you ever want to play it again. Um, Game Pass is great. And this is on Game Pass. Check out my Mountain Dew car. This is on Game Pass. Alright. February update. Ooh. And it's, so what up? How's it going? Hey, Frank. Yo. I'm going to switch out to... You want, you want to sit in? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just for a sec, I wanted to say hi to you. Yeah. Let me uh, switch out. Yeah, I got all the homies here. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the room enough for three? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is my Mountain Dew car in uh, Forza. 
Oh, I didn't know you were a pro gamer. Oh, I'm a fucking pro gamer, dude. I'm sponsored by Mountain You're Dew. You're fueling up for yep. the festival. Some people yeah, drink Red Bull. Monster. Some people like Monster. Nah, keep it simple. Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah. I even got an achievement just for logging in the Forza. How incredible. There you go. Did I miss the Crackdown experience? You missed the Crackdown. I'll have to watch your upload. We streamed it for like three hours. Uh, it is Crackdown from 2006. Like, really? it feels like an Xbox 360 game. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. So, I like it, so I was nostalgic yeah, yeah. for it. If you never played Crackdown, you're not going to give a shit about this Yeah, game. right. I played the first one. I love the first one, yeah. Uh, the first one was great. Just driving was so fun when you yeah. get the boost. Yeah. Speaking of driving, though, this looks beautiful. This game is awesome. So, I wanted to show off, because Crackdown is not worth paying 60 bucks for, but it's worth it if you have Game Pass. This is a oh, yeah. Game Pass. This game kicks ass. Uh... Barney thinks so too. Oh, yeah, he's Barney, so excited. He's so excited. He's jumping around. This is why is it giving me like a fucking cutscene? Oh, I think it's because like Barney's smoking that spinach. What's wrong yeah. with him? He's oh, got geez. some. Something's poking through. Yeah, he's excited. Um, it's, it's like, button your blouse up, Barney. Yeah, it Come loaded on. it loaded into a cutscene. I want to play the game. Come uh, on, indecent. I think they had like a patch and showing me all the new shit, but I don't care about that. Yeah, we're not. We don't care. Yeah. Oh my god. Mini Coopers. Holy shit. Why is it giving me all this tutorial stuff? That's fine. This it, is a, a brand new... Yeah, this came out, I think, a few months ago. Maybe it even came out in November, but I've, just been, I've been playing this the past month. And you've month. got the Xbox One S hardware there? Yeah, the X hardware, yeah. X, One yeah. X. And, yeah, that looks great on these monitors. Yeah, it's fucking great. On a 4K TV with HDR, it looks incredible. All right, can nice. I finally play this? Let's see. Northern Lights. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, Viking shit. Oh. It's like giving me marketing DLC. Oh my god. Is this real or what is going in game on? footage? No, this is the game. Dude, it, I, it did a patch and now it's showing me all the new stuff in the patch. Oh, oh I my don't god, care. lightning, dude. Don't Fortune care. Island. Don't care. Oh, um, I want to play. Well, while all this shit waits, yeah. you know, we could reminisce. I know you talked about that movie you went and saw. Yeah, hold on. Making did you sure. Like oh, it? it was. we had this echo. Hold on. Oh yeah, everything was echoing. Uh, that's fine. Um, Arctic was all right. Uh, okay. I was gonna say I've seen so many survival thrillers. Did that... you see? Uh, oh, you, you, I, I heard you talking earlier. Yeah. You, you, it's hard to top the Revenant. Yeah, because it's like Revenant was incredible. I'm not gonna buy this fucking thing after you <laughs> give me a commercial for an hour. Yeah, like it's good, but I've, I've just seen so many survival thrillers that's like, all right, that was it. Like it didn't surprise me, but I liked it. Yeah. But it's hard to recommend. Like you got to see this because it's like if you've seen the Revenant, like. All right, you're good. So I was I was at home and I just happened to boot up Netflix and I never got around to seeing Mad's other film about uh, the snow called Polar. Oh, I haven't seen that. Isn't um, that like some new cyberpunk shit? It's like now it's like I would say it's like someone who's a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Yeah. Made a John Wick movie. Cause, oh, okay. Because it's basically like that. Like uh, I won't give anything else away. There's just like. These tenants of Metal Gear in it. Not only does Kojima work with Mads, yeah. but there's some scenes and some costume changes in the film that are like questionable. That like, hey, someone really likes Metal Gear Three, I think. Um, oh, wow, look at you! Look are you like an old lady? Yeah, I'm an old lady. In a, <laughs> I'm, I'm Mrs. Claus, dude. Oh, dude! Driving my Mountain Dew truck. There's a. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, this game kicks ass. This is the buzz bomb. You, yeah. this is, there's a Dead Kennedy song about an old lady who really? drives around in a car. Fuck yeah. Yeah, buzz bomb, buzz bomb, macho mobile. Oh, I can't I explain. It's just thing. how I feel. All right, there's something on the map called the Halo Experience Showcase. Uh, so I'm gonna check that out. Hey, yeah. That sounds good. That sounds fucking pimp. But yeah. So with this game, it's open world, just like Burnout Paradise. So we have this massive map. And on this map, there's all these races and fucking challenges you can do. Oh, so it is kind of a, hey, open world yep. environment. Just, yeah. Wow, that that's kind of like how GTA plays. Yeah, exactly. Oh, again, I haven't booted this game up in a while, so there's so many, like, like hey, we added this in, we added this in. It's like, I just want to play, I just want to play. Uh, yeah, that's, that's rough. There we go. So all these fucking races, we're making our way, dude, to the Halo Experience Showcase. You're on your way. Gotta go to the Halo Experience Showcase. We While you... Do while you navigate mm -hmm. to the Halo experience, yes. oh, look at the fan cooling your rear yeah, radiator. Yeah, it's fucking... This is like a trophy truck. I used to work yeah, on trucks like this. How do I switch my... Oh, nope. I, oh. You got a secondary... Uh... I actually did camera mode, too. Yeah, check out... See that fuel cell? Go back down in there. Down low, underneath the okay. spare tire. Yeah. That's the fuel cell right yeah. there. It's got a bladder mm. inside that can compress with the fluid. So Ooh. if there's a wreck, there's no explosion, no Smart. spill. No fumes, no spilled gas. 
This trophy truck out here is located. Oh, you got some, uh, what else? Let's get into some details. Oh, the, the pin method to yeah. put those high fender hood on. Nice. Probably all fiberglass body aftermarket. Yeah. You, know, you got a Toyota chassis there. Look at the billet wheels. Yes. All riveted multiple times to you know keep any off-road rocks or anything. Absolutely. Nothing's going to de-glove uh, yeah. your, your spoke, oh. uh, your rim as, as it were. This this is a piece of shit Mercedes. Yeah. That's like a, a two class. Oh, okay, let's, get, even, out. let's yeah, get out of here. Right. Back to the trophy trucks. Yeah, back to we're getting to our Halo uh, Halo speed run. Um, I want to take that thing to Baja and jump it. Um, there you go. Oh yeah, so <laughs> this is the internal. So you were playing last week at Apex Guardians. It didn't make it. No, yeah, no. So I I changed the format. So now how oh, it that's works? Right. Yeah, I just try to play whatever I want. It's uh, uh, not last game standing. No, no, it's Frank's arcade. Mm. So I'm just, it's just like how I used to go to the arcade, play you know, play a game for an hour, move on. It's just, uh, you know, just hanging out. Well, you inspired me uh, to play on the PPS last week. Hell yeah, Apex. And thank you yeah. for joining. That was fun. That really helped me out. The fact that we had a, a three-man squad to Hell stick yeah. with. We learned. And that really, those two hours we played, that was how I learned how to play the game. Oh, shit. From you telling. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. I've been playing now at home, like when I can get good and concentrate. I've had a couple, I think two, I still only have like three kills. Yeah. But I've gotten on teams where we've carried each other and I've been like top team twice. Oh, fuck And yeah. I get second occasionally, like three, four times. Um, and I don't drop in and just get annihilated instantly. Anymore. Yeah. But I don't know if those games are for me. No, dude, there are. It's great if you have like a whole, a whole squad of friends who are all into it and like. You know, show you the like, yeah. It's a. Uh, I got a friend I gamed with uh, the other night called uh, Xbox One Band Me. Xbox okay. Band. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You ever play with uh, no, Xbox I, Live Band? But uh, Brian has them on their friends list, so I've seen them. He's fucking good, yeah. bro. Hell yeah. Oh my god. He was. Um, Wait, we gotta make our way to the fucking Halo showcase. What is going killing on? Killing it. Fucking, it's gonna give me the wrong direction. Yeah, you're doing races. I oh, want to see. I want to do Halo. And that's kind of what Apex reminds me of is Halo. Yeah, the, I the gunplay of it, yeah. I haven't played a shooter, especially like a futuristic shooter, in so long. Yeah. I really, like, the first Destiny. That was yeah. it. Yeah, oh man. So I'm really rusty with that trigger time, too. And now yeah. kind of sliding back into that. It's fun stuff. Yeah. It, it, it is addicting, and I'm, I I don't like it that much, so I'm afraid... I'm yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna give myself time to. That's the game. If I'm if I'm chatting with my friends online, like, hey, we're gonna do a round. Do you want to join? It's, so fast. it's like, cool. okay, yeah, I can pop in. But it's not gonna be a thing where I'm coming home and like, God, play the shit. It's like, oh no, yeah. like I still gotta beat God of War. No, we got Resident Evil DLC now. Oh, I'm going yeah. right back. Hell, into dude, I love that they have Kendo backstory <sighs> shit. Like that's crazy. Can't wait. I'm gonna get a little bit of that in this weekend. Hell yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. We're making our way to the Halo showcase. I'm fucking excited for the Halo showcase. Yeah. I'm gonna see. I I gotta see what this is, cause I'm, I'm uh, I'm almost out of here. I came up to say oh, hi. Yeah, we gotta do the Halo. People see what's the up. Fan, but I, I wanna see what see this it. Halo yeah. showcase is. Mountain Dew showcase for now. Look at this. Does that make you thirsty? All right, mm. we're, we're making our way up there. Mm. Getting over. A lot of love in the chat. Beautiful. A lot of love. Ooh, oh, that's gonna cut. That might have ripped some stuff off. I think we're, yeah, we're yeah, gonna your still body. Awesome. Okay, the fenders are still on somehow. Yeah, we're good. Maybe they're not fiberglass. Maybe they are um, uh, iron. All right, Halo, Halo experience. We're two it's miles coming. away, making our way across the land. Perfect. I'm mesmerized by that radiator fan on your oh, rear, yeah. secondary radiator. You got to keep that engine cool because you got probably turbos in there. Fuck yeah. Twin turbos if you're lucky. Whoa. Oh. Making our way, Halo show. I can't wait for Halo. Oh. <laughs> Is shit getting farther away? No, okay, I'm doing No, you're right almost now. there. You're almost there. All right. Do you remember uh, on the PlayStation 3, you could share, like, images to your friends list? Yeah, wow, yeah, cool. yeah. I, it was an inside joke for fucking years. Into the PlayStation 4, because I still share an image of a truck <laughs> like this that I worked on <laughs> uh, to Rocco and Hell Dominic. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah, my fucking, dude, you just crashed into Tony Soprano's house. <laughs> Everything is all good. Oh my I god! Gotta, I got a cheat code over here. I gotta get a little. Uh... AJ was playing N64. <laughs> you just fucked his whole afternoon up. Blew a, no blew more, a circuit. No breaker. more Mario Kart. Oh man. Yeah. So I'm playing it like Twisted Metal. I gotta shoot the Statue of Liberty. All right, we're getting there. Real I want to share that trophy truck. Damn. 
All right, we're getting getting there to Halo. There's this been an alert on the top. I have to look at my network diagnostics. Give me one sec. I'm gonna click X. Let's see what that does. Okay. Oh, let's see. Quick retry. Eh, it's talking about like yeah, enjoying. wanting to play multiplayer shit. Yeah, or something. we just want to go see the Halo, Halo baby. So oh, I fucked up so far past it. <laughs> All right, we're on the fucking beach. All we right. need paddles for this yeah. thing. We need paddles. All right, Halo experience. Cortana's talking. Dude, is is this? Are you get to race Master Chief? Let's see. Oh, it's a warthog, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Dude, bro. Dude, it is Master Chief. Oh, this is sick. So cool. I love tie-ins. And this is why Xbox owns, guys. This is why they pwn. Oh, dude, Xbox gamers, dude. Forza, baby. You guys get Halo in your Forza. <laughs> Fuck it's yeah. like a chocolate peanut butter situation. This is sick. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh. oh, it's the Halo. Look yes. behind you. Yes. Holy shit. That was pretty cool. All frontline UNSC personnel are expected to complete the following training Let's do it. Upon completion okay, of yep, I'm gonna hit X. Start, Don't stop talking to me. Yep. To UNSC fleet com for assessment. Google, shut up. Who is, who this hired Alexa? Dude, they got actual, they got it's Microsoft. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, that's dope. Cortana, do you read me? That's you. What the fuck is there's, this? There's witch ghosts and shit? Dude. Yes! This is ridiculous. This is fucking sick, bro. This is I would have bought this. I just want to race uh, a Halo yeah. racing game. Bro. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, Halo racers. I don't care about the Forza yeah. shit. Just give me like the. Well, like, this is what I'm saying. Forza's they have goofy shit in here. Like okay, I, this that's is cool. Forza, and this is free with Game Pass. And that's what made um, you said Need for Speed. That's what made those games fun yeah, again. Just was goofy putting the DeLorean shit. Yeah. and like all those movie cars yeah. and shit. It's just yeah. This is just like Burnout Paradise. It rules. We're gonna make it home after all. Oh, okay. dude, Sarge. Yep. Oh, dude, this is sick. Hell no, not on Earth. The flood's coming to Earth? Oh, they got a halo ring here? To Earth. <laughs> I'm actually Master Chief, dude. Do you think Marines really say hoorah? Hoorah. Like when they're out in the shit? Oh my god, dude, first person shooter is just like driving the warthog. I bet they do. Whoa! I like seeing the UI. I got my health meter there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Marines in the chat are gonna let me know. Yeah. Hoorah! There, we got a lot of uh, viewers overseas yeah. that are watching right Dang now. It. They're gonna tell me, yeah, we go out on uh, raids all the time. We say hoorah. Fuck yeah, It's like bro. a good luck charm, probably. Look at that. Look at that. Right, driving over a stacker. Whoa. All right, let's do it. Oh. Oh, where are the banshees? Get them. Get them, master. Shoot some rockets. Oh, shoot, dude. There's the banshees. I love the, the fact that they just put stuff on the ground around you. Yeah. Like, the Decorate, pods, decorating the whole set. Those yeah. little weapon pods yeah. and shit. It's great. Larry Larry's in the chat. He's a general. Fuck yeah. I got dude, Major you got Nelson. Larry Herb in yeah, the chat. Larry, you got Major, Major Nelson. Nelson dude. On deck. Oh, my God. Forza got Major Nelson Fuck yeah. to play with Frank Fuck on... Yeah. Frank's Arcade? That's incredible. Dude, uh, when we were streaming Crackdown, I was the number two Crackdown streamer on Twitch because <laughs> no one cares about this game. Which is awesome. Like, that's really cool. Yeah. I think that's sick. Hey, man, the week, uh, my only claim to fame with a number one song was uh, in the first week of Rock Band, Brain Power. Yeah. You know, no one was playing Freeze Pop oh, DLC. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I was like, oh, number one ranking Fuck singing yeah. Brain Power. Hell yeah. Lasted a week. That's good. Oh, shit. Look at that Master Look at Chief, that. dude. You can, you can pan Hell camera yeah. around. This is sick. Red versus Blue should honestly use Forza yeah. for the driving sequences. Don't yeah. capture with... It's way better. What do they even use now? I don't know. What's the latest Halo? Probably game? tight. They probably use uh, Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite mods? Yeah. This no, you know what? I think they just use a PC program that has yeah, the, 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 the characters' yeah, yeah. Uh, bodies. Alright, here we go. Yeah, bro. Ooh, oh, bro. You just jumped a fucking 
Pelican. Top or, shit. Yeah, there you go. Pelican. You don't remember the name and everything. Yeah, right? dude, that's Halo, Halo Fest, dude. That, the 360 stuff's starting to fade from <laughs> <in> my mind. <laughs> it's the best generation. Fuck. Right. I did love it. Get this fucking Perez dude out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's just Get the him. checkpoint. Oh, shit. So the oh. cool thing with Forza... Oops, I went into photo mode. I didn't want to do that. Just take a picture. Look at that. that Head on missed. right before Mr. Chief dies. Mr. Chief's last thought. Shit. I don't know. There's like a way to uh, back reverse in this game. Shit. How do I reverse? Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Uh, oh, no. It's all right. Wait, what? Freaky Friday, what are you doing? Oh! Can you start playing from here? Yeah. Now? That's the thing that makes Forza cool. So you can redo a race? Yep. Oh, please. Resume from here. Frank's gonna nail it this time. Yeah, dude. That is so crazy. I'm, this is the first time I've ever seen a yeah. Forza. Oh, first place, Master Chief crosses the finish Frank, line. congratulations. Incre Master Chief did it. I see, I wanna see some stocks are up. Yeah, Master yeah. Chief did it. Incredible, incredible. Wow. In the yeah, warthog. Fuck yeah, I got my little hookups, your... my hookups girl. <laughs> People love the hookups. Yeah. I think the game for yeah, there you go. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it has the my it has it shows your avatar on screen. That's how you burn the other yeah. players. Yeah. Alright, buddy. It's been, been a pleasure. It's been a good time. Let's Thank do it like so this, like bros. Oh bro. Hoorah! Oh shit, hoorah, hoorah buddy! Shit. Hoorah. Uh, you oh fuck. Oh, I'm hit oh god. Honey biscuits. Alright, we'll make it. Okay, yeah, all right. We're good. Sorry, he's all good. Shorty's right low. Bye. All right. Later. Alright, that was the Halo experience. Now it's playing the Halo theme. Hell yeah. Boom. Look at that little Horza race. I said Horza. Horza. Whoa, oh, I'm slipping out of control. Oh. All right, that was Forza Horizon. Uh, yeah, so that about does it for today on Frank's Arcade. Uh, Forza's great. But that Halo, I mean, how are you going to top Master Chief? Crackdown 3, it's all right. I might play a little bit more. Uh, Game Pass, though, kicks ass. Let me, let me, uh, how do I get back to the homepage? Real fast. So with Game Pass, I wonder if there's a way to just look at all the games. Show all. Get two bu it's two bucks for two months. Uh, Ten bucks a month. You get all this shit in here. Uh, I want to play Ashen at some point. You get all the Banjo games. All the rare shit is in here. D4, which is uh, goofy. You get DMC, DMC4, Doom. And all this shit's on Game Pass, which I like. All the Gears of Wars. Ooh, Guacamole Melee I need to play. I heard this game sucks. Uh, Hydro Thunder. A lot of random ass shit. King of Fighters is on here. Mass Effect. Metal Slug, Mortal Kombat X, Ninja Gaiden, or I still need to play Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, Runer kicks ass. The game's great. Saints Row Four, honestly, Saints Row Four is going to be better than Crackdown Three, and Saints Row the Third. You get it all if you get this. You got Sonic in here. It's Belunky. Um, where is that Sea of Thieves, which I want to play at some point? Where the hell is Sea of Thieves? Oh, it's probably I passed it already. See if these, there it is. I installed it, I haven't played it yet. A lot of random ass games. Um, but yeah, including Crackdown. But yeah, someone says Life is Strange, cool. Yeah, you even get the bad games, it is cool. Um, boom. Oh, I was playing classical music. I haven't made my own course, but uh, I dig it. Classic music, the Mountain King Baby. All right, I'm gonna close. I always like to like hard close my games because I never know if they actually save right. I mean, that's not gonna save it, but just quit out. And then I'm going to. I need to hard turn off my console to that later. All right, thank you so much. Whoops, it's not the pee break anymore. Turning off. Whoa. Well, thank you so much for watching. Where is my post show music? Playing it loose. There you go. Thank you so much for watching Frank's Arcade. I'll be back next Friday. I don't know what I'll play next Friday. I need to beat God of War. Maybe we'll just bring that back. Celeste, who knows? Clearing out my backlog. It's been a pleasure. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for calling. 
If you watch this on YouTube, thank you so much. We got some achievements, bless. But yeah, I might do more calls in the future. That was fun. Uh, next Tuesday night, Brian and I will stream on my personal Twitch, on the Big Dog stream. Here's all my social media stuff. If you want to follow, stay tuned. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, Letterboxd. I started a weekly vlog called Dog Walks. Bringing blogs back. New interviews. That's going to be fun. If you like what we saw here, uh, best example of the content. What, what a triple A showing. But support everything we do here at Mega 64. Shop the Mega 64. This stream's going to be on the archives. Patreon, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Podcast Sunday, 6 p.m. Garrett's stream Wednesdays. Rocco's Future Probes Thursdays. A lot of fun here in the zone. All right. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later. Play video games. I love you. Talk to you next week. Take some more calls. It's a blast. Appreciate it. Tanya Shiba's here. Welcome. What a pleasure. Uh, respect. We got journalists, former at Newsweek, Newsweek, I think. Incredible. Respect. All right. Later, guys. See you later. Uh, this has been Frank's Arcade. What a beautiful thumbnail. Did you guys see my pee break art? I did that myself. All right. Good night.